Christmas evolved from the Roman holiday Saturnalia, a winter festival where men gave gifts to each other. They also would get drunk, have sex with each other, and beat their wives. People would act so crazy on Christmas, the holiday was outlawed by the Protestant church until the 1800s. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast, a podcast of a bunch of people on the internet talking about things they like and dislike. I'm the best guy ever, and today we're joined by such characters as Hypocrite. I'm dreaming. <laughs> Cool. Of a white <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> uh, Tom Oliver is here. I'm dreaming of a white Kwanzaa. <laughs> now that's a, that's the dream. That's the real dream. Uh, the Davu is here. I think even the word holiday is offensive because it, it implies holy, thus divine. Let's just use festive. Come on, guys. Be PC. <laughs> and uh, Digibro is here. This is the dawning of the rest of our life <laughs> on holiday. Is that, who is that? Is that Blink? That's, that's that Green Blink? Day. You Green Day, bastard. that's right. That's right. They're like the same band. It's from American uh, Idiot. <laughs> anyway, uh, right guys, we're talking about holidays. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hey. Merry Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Whatever the fuck made up holidays you guys celebrate. I hope that you're having a good one. Uh, this will be out. This is out after Christmas, before New Year's. So right in that sweet spot. Before the important one, which What's is New Year's. New Year's. New Year's is the mm. only holiday I care about. I see. That's that makes like the exact same holiday because it, it they sort of meld into one another. Yeah, yeah. the holidays are an amorphous I don't, blob. I don't think of, of them that way. It's a whole week between them, and uh, I th New Year's is more special to me because mm -hmm. Christmas is just about like giving each other shit. New Year's is about getting fucked up. And that's why it's the best holiday. But we'll get into that later. Yeah, right. I mean, we're 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 busting this nut wide open and revealing all the secrets within yeah. on, on, all, on all holidays here. This is going to be. I assume we'll spend most of our time on Halloween. Uh, it's like the it's the most important one. It's the most relevant one. Uh, you know, hippo yes. hippo knows hippo knows. It's probably the only one significantly rising in popularity still, where all the other ones are sort of on a uh, public opinion decline. I would say. Mm. It's a slutty ween and whatnot has really has really brought it to the mainstream. Uh, but hey, let's let's break this thing down with a visit to our good friend UrbanDictionary.com and find out what the fuck a holiday even is. Uh, okay, so a holiday. Here we go. An opportunity for relatives to come around and say stupid shit like, "Why haven't you found a wife yet?" <laughs> Lol. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe My favorite I part have. about holidays is how being considered or is how being single is considered a disease. There you go. All right. Was that all in the in the Urban Dictionary definition, or was that just you yeah. responding to it? No, no, <laughs> no. That's that's in the definition. That's in the definition. Okay. Also, uh, a British term for vacation. Just uh, yeah. yeah. I've always thought that was weird. Some oh, Americans yeah, I say guess that we don't too. have we don't have vacation as a word. I guess mm, mm, yeah. we go on holiday to summer yeah, places. In Harry Potter, right. when they had like summer holiday and they're going on holiday and whatnot, yeah. it was very triggering to me. Are we going to make yeah. sure to keep this to like nationally recognized holidays? You mean uh, internationally? I think just the big ones, like you know, Christmas, Halloween. Because um, ha Halloween's not even technically a holiday. Nobody gets off from work on Halloween. You know? True. Well, see, my it's favorite, my favorite holiday, thing. my favorite holiday is the is the uh, is, is the eclipse, is the solar eclipse. But see, it's not the Earth solar eclipse; it's the Mars solar eclipse that I calculate using. I triangulate the position of the sun and the moon in the sky. Wait, Mars doesn't even have a moon. Uh, never mind. I thought that was going to be hilarious, but uh, <laughs> I I well, wasn't. Mars fact the could, fool. could Mars eclipse the sun if it if it tried about? hard enough. Does Mars have a moon? Is yeah. That, is that accurate? Wow. Aren't Mars' moons like Phobos just like little asteroids, Demos, though? It has like two moons. Well, yeah. Okay, so it's twice as likely then to, to do eclipse and shit. Uh, but uh, no. Right. The Earth is All like right, the so only... All right, so anyway, talking about holidays. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck are we... T God. Um... Do we want to go through who's... them in order or something? Let's, like, let's, they, let's, yeah, let's in start order. with the list of holidays. Yeah, totes. Let's, like, let's find go from one. most woke to least woke holidays in order. <laughs> everyone's right. like, everyone's like currently on Google, like searching a list of holidays. Like, what are no, these things true. again? The, the like, I remember Halloween. Matter, uh, the big ones. Uh -huh. All the small if you can't ones recall like, them off oh, the top of your head, they country. don't matter. Care. But big holidays are relative because in America Thanksgiving's a big one, but okay. I'm sure to you Thanksgiving is not even real. America is the only place that matters. So who fucking cares? 
The only yeah. thing about Thanksgiving is that there's Black Friday, which has yeah. uh, permeated the the collective consciousness yeah. of fucking yeah. everybody. Um, and I generally hate it because uh, mm. I don't I don't get it. I don't get. You uh, just don't uh, like it has black in the do, title. Do you I, know I why they call it Black Friday? <laughs> well, Hippo, do you know why they call it Black Friday? I don't know how. I don't know if this is something that everyone knows or not a whole lot of people know. Why it's called Black Friday? I know. You tell us. Well, first of all, like all facts I've ever heard in my fucking life, I'm sure like next week I'm going to hear that it was actually, I heard this from a false source, and this isn't the reason. Like every there are knowledge conflicting in the world. Claims. Uh, anyway, I will know whether or not it's true, because I know why it's called that. But I, Yeah, because you've I will heard trust it you. from the real service. Uh, it's yeah. because stores uh, are in the red basically all year because uh, retail is a shitty industry to get into, and so they named it after their own relieved desire to finally have black on the bottom line of their, of their re net re revenue. And that's what's called yeah. Black Friday. The idea is we get so many people yes. like literally killing each other to uh, get their shit that we actually make a profit for the first time. So that's basically the whole retail industry is completely circled around the whole holiday season. It's like literally their business model, which is mm -hmm. part of a uh, whole holiday creep that I want to get into toward the end of this. Oh, yeah, that's the most Indeed. important thing I wanted to talk about on here. Me too, yeah. In fact, I, I, I kind of want to skip straight to that. Cause, like, Can we? The, yeah. the holidays we're sure. going to talk about here... The ones that we all care about, like, f fuck Memorial Day, no one gives a fuck. No one knows what it's about other than the pool's closed. Like, that's all that I know about Memorial Day. <laughs> the pool's closed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to get into that shit, course. too. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wait, did the, did the pools open or close on Memorial Day? Which one is uh, early? That's, like, only open on End Memorial Day. The fact Day. that you, you don't even know swim. just proves <laughs> your point Memorial that it Day. doesn't matter. Yeah, it's well because they they close on Memorial Day and open on like Veterans Day or something like that. Like Jesus those Christ. are like the bookends of summer. You know, is like when no the idea pools what you're open and close. In America, pools open and close based no, on the not holidays. No, not the fucking pool thing. <laughs> the the fucking uh, Veterans Day. I mean, I guess we have yeah. like military days as well. Yeah, but, uh, we've got Veterans Day where you celebrate veterans. Memorial Day, which is where you you cry because people died. I have no fucking yeah, idea. Yeah, that's right. That's Martin right. Luther King Day. No one, right. no one cares. But the holidays we have that that matter are like New Year's, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Those are the ones right. that have slowly expanded and right. gone way beyond their day and exactly. consumed Holy whole fucking shit. whole years walking, of time. Walking through the fucking hallway of uh, uh, aisles at Walmart, they had Christmas shit up on October 29th. and it's like, guys, yeah, guys, I saw that. Hold, I saw hold that. the fuck up. Stop. Stop. Stop! No one wants this. No one no. wants this. Uh, I, I wouldn't... Okay, if it, if there was able to, like, sort of spread out the joy of the holiday season in a way, I mean, perhaps that'd be nice, but really all it seems to do is cheapen it. You know? yeah, absolutely. It's because it's and, not you know, done to, to increase the appeal and, like, the good feelings of the holidays. It's to maximize you spending money yeah. that's why it feels you know, so mm, you know cold. as much as people can debate whether or not the mythological cultural figure of Santa Claus really exists there is one highly doubted mythological figure that does exist it's called the slippery slope people like to call that argument a fallacy <laughs> but if you look at literally any human activity ever there is not a single fucking slope humanity has never slid down and in this case it's retailers <laughs> became dependent on the, on the holiday okay. season to make money so they just take more and more and more and more and they just cannot help themselves they are as fat as your fat uncle at thanksgiving on the holiday on the holiday cheer well, it is obscene do you know Devo, here's here's that the santa claus used to be green but then coca cola <laughs> made the him fuck? red <laughs> did you know he's not got father christmas anytime anywhere other than your country Oh, yeah. uh, what? I mean, they, they call him yeah. a lot of things in a lot of different countries because he's call, a weird we, amalgam I, when I was of a, a million kid, things. when i was a kid we called him father christmas because exactly. it's like father, like a religious thing. But I just Rock. thought it was like Dad Christmas or something. Lol. <laughs> and and then Santa Claus was like, oh, that's the American one. But <laughs> everyone then everyone knows on, on everyone Christmas says we Santa celebrate now. the fact that Santa is your dad for the day. That's yeah. uh, well, you know, enjoys it's that. funny. And Munchie stays up all night getting ready to steal oh, him as soon oh, as he comes down. Getting ready to beat down. his father for one day. <laughs> oh, I, I actually <laughs> think I actually think that retailers got so focused on Christmas that they killed Easter. Like, yeah, absolutely. When I, when I was growing then. up, there was this holiday called Easter that I yeah. don't know if anyone still celebrates. But uh, there was like a bunny, and you had these eggs. You would like you would like paint eggs, like regular eggs. Yeah. But then you would also have 
like fake eggs with candy inside of them that were hidden everywhere, and you had to find those. Is this and really like, like dead? We do this all the time. Like this is still a thing that. Do you yeah, still do like Easter? I, mean, I don't. I don't. I just don't think, I think it's something that adults do much. I'm trying yeah, to explain I, this so that like modern children can understand because I, I don't know if they have Easter. I think Easter this is still a thing that happens because I think I, explaining I Easter is like explaining a Nintendo like an NES I, game. I don't think it's that far gone, dude. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, perhaps. I mean, we my, me and my family like up until before I moved away, moved out to Ohio, me and my family would do our Easter egg hunt every year. And mostly it was just cuz my dad liked doing it and it was an excuse to get together. <clears throat> Uh, Do you think but, it's a uh, holiday yeah. that only exists in families with kids? Like, yeah, like no, I think just as soon as they grow up, it's not fun. If, I mean, unless, you, unless, unless, you're, unless you're very religious, in, in which case that's like a, yeah, a, a church, very yeah, sacred have... day. There's not enough. The problem with Easter is that there's not enough of like a party aspect attached to it for like yeah, adults right. to celebrate. Well, that's, like, I, I, that's I think the problem, the problem is, with it is that is that mm -hmm. um, hiding eggs around the garden is is time consuming, and I don't mm, care. Right. And sometimes oh, you're well, like, I like, oh, I love muddy. Am I going to be eating mud? I don't want to be doing that. What I don't like about Easter is that it's becoming a light Christmas, at least that's my experience mm -hmm. with it. It's more about like you have to because you yeah. used to just get like the Easter basket that had like candy in it, or whatever. But like slowly, right, yeah. it's been like, well, we need to corporatize this to make money. So like you need to buy presents on Easter, not just a dumb little <clears throat> gift basket. Wait, Tom, yeah. you still get presents on Easter in your family? Um, Is that still I don't a thing? any, I don't anymore. But like back when I was growing up, it did get more and more. Uh, yeah, like I remember to, that. You have to understand, I Easter was a, I, Easter was a big was, like, deal here because. Sorry. I grew up Christian. I grew up Christian, so like yeah. mm -hmm. Easter was a big deal in this house because Dude, you know no. Jesus mm -hmm. was was fucking back, yeah, and kicking I, ass. To this, Jesus to this, stuff, right? Every as we all know, up, as we all we know, when gifts. Jesus died on the cross, like a thousand bunnies showed up and cried and cried, and a bunch of eggs were laid by the bunnies, and that's why Jesus died. Wait, no, it was. When I he think was this born? is detailed in in the Professor Brothers uh, lectures on on Jesus, but yeah. like a, a fucking. Uh, to this, like, every time I got, like, a gift on Easter, like, for my entire childhood growing up, I was consistently baffled on why I was being given, like, a gift. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, in our Christmas basket one day, there was one magical morning when I woke Easter up basket. and... We got Easter baskets with some candy, and in Ben's basket, I believe, was Mega Man X, and in mine was Donkey Kong Country 3. Holy and it was like fuck. the most legendary Easter of all Whoa. time. But I, I still don't understand why I was given I've those. Never you should rename it Snesmus at that I've rate. I've never heard of Easter presents. That's never been no, like a thing. My parents anyway. did it, I mean, man. You I can know. count the contents of the eggs as presents. Now, hip now quite unlike Hippo, I loved uh, hiding the eggs. Like, I would be the sole well, proprietor of egg-hiding like, duties. I, I, I mean, the reason I wouldn't... I mean, the, the reason I said that was, like, the reason adults don't continue it is because it's a fucking hassle. and It's kind of demand kids, on your time it, for an adult. It's more mm -hmm. of a thing that can only be enjoyed by kids. Like, you can still right. Im enjoy giving and getting right. presents at Christmas dude, oh, dude, as an I, adult. Like, like, when my family, like, got, in, uh, got a business and had a rural neighborhood that we lived in with a big yard, that's when I became an ultra bastard at my hiding oh, yeah. techniques. I'd put, oh, no. I'd, I'd hmm. put eggs on, on, like, appliances where they, like, completely blend in, where you can't see them. Hmm. I'd put eggs, like, inside a broken part of a tree that you have to open. Devo even real you and I are we're in a unique position because we're older brothers and yeah, of like course. Easter is the most fun for an eldest brother for about two years it's when you're yes. like 12 and 13 mm -hmm. when you're like yep. right at the age where you're too old to have to look for the eggs because you'll find them immediately but your little brothers are still kind of retarded no the eggs I had <laughs> not even I would have found I like well <laughs> it's sort of a, it's a <laughs> yeah, but your, your parents would never hide them that well like your parents right. your parents mm -hmm. are just gonna like mm -hmm. put eggs around and then your kid right. brother you're gonna find them all immediately your kid brother's not gonna find any so it's way more fun right. if you hide the eggs because not only will you do a better job but like now it's all on them and like there's probably some they won't even find right. and like it's just gonna be way more fun but then right. like as soon as they're old enough that they could hide the eggs themselves there's nowhere to go from there it's like no 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 one no one in my kids. family extended or even acquaintances is as much of an evil person as me i put an egg just straight up in the ground with barely a centimeter sticking out of it right yeah. like like barely like a, like a millimeter sticking out of it right <laughs> and but like <laughs> see it's a win win the thing with eggs because if they never find them you get to forever enjoy the fact that they didn't find it and it's there even though it's plastic rotting away for all eternity. And if they do find it, then you get to take a victory lap in your cleverness, but because you've been exposed and now they get to see your logic. But the point is, yeah. underneath that egg was another egg. 
but like oh, one yeah. inch further Incredible. down. <laughs> and underneath oh, that, Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah, I am the Dark Souls of Easter. That's what I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I always just like the gutters were always the best. Like putting the it gutters, in your yeah. rain gutter. Um, but yeah, when I was a kid, there was a there was a period where it suddenly became a toy holiday, and I think that's what killed Easter, because like Easter was like the 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 hiding eggs, candy, like simple. Like, you spent like fifteen twenty dollars on Easter, and then as soon as parents started having to spend like money to like buy you like a video game or some shit on Easter, they were like, didn't we just do this on Christmas? You know, like yeah, like and yeah, your yeah, birthday. Exactly. Like we can't well, have yeah. every fucking holiday I coming mean, along bleeding us dry. And I think maybe my I think my parents were trying to get out of the Easter game as fast as possible. Because I was probably parents, like 13 when we stopped doing that shit. Our, our like approach to these things with my family was more like we were always happy to have an excuse to like celebrate something or like buy things for each other. Because yeah. like I don't know, we're all we're all cutthroat capitalists who are out to no. get each other and, and gut the competition. I mean, not not really, but like there, there was kind of that sentiment. And I personally think the real problem with Easter as a holiday is that it is it is too kitty of a holiday just in general mm -hmm. in the ways I was saying before. Yeah. Where, like there's no reason why a parent like okay because obviously children are worthless and do nothing it only more parents eggnog. make everything happen it needs more eggnog they need something to make parents like invest in easter as a thing yeah. uh and i don't know what that would be but it needs something yeah, you I ask mean, well, adults why they like christmas they're like oh eggnog a million like, reasons i want rum yeah. in my in my in my wintry <laughs> drink you know like it's Lol, all about yeah. excuses to drink well yeah. think about this mm -hmm. way halloween was probably like primarily capitally a child holiday for a long time it just mm -hmm. took you know like like the infantilization of society had to catch up to it to the point that now yeah. an adult can be like, oh yeah, I'm dressed enough for fucking Chris for Halloween. Yeah, and now so, you're weird if you don't go to a party. Now right. it's yeah. like so, everyone yeah. goes to hell. Like that's like everyone doing it kind of thing. It's like so yeah, at the rate we're going, the second biggest holiday. If something. you know some twenty somethings, there's going to be a Halloween party that you're invited right, exactly. to. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. So maybe eventually the infantilization of society, I give it another generation or so, uh, they'll be like, oh yeah, Easter, uh, fucking uh, scavenger party, sweet, let's do it. You know, and well, then you'll okay. be weird if you don't do that. We could we could talk about more about individual ones if you guys want to, but I, I have a larger point about holidays in general, and I, I do want to ask uh, who is who, who's that's just a quick poll who is pro holiday and who is anti holiday. I'm who just pretty wishes anti holiday. There were no holiday. Um, as, really, as a okay. person who doesn't have like days on or days off, I don't right. really know what to think about it. I think mm -hmm. um, it's good for kids. It's great for kids. Mm -hmm. It's lovely for kids. Uh, keep them for that. Um, and other than that, I think. Uh, some people need time people need time off but i don't know about holidays generally hmm. like like the festivities the 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 you have to do the specific type of festivity like you have to make us a, a christmas roast what if you don't like roast what if nobody likes roast yeah, what i don't, if you like, don't turkey. like your family you know like i would mm -hmm. like time off of work but i don't know whether i would like to dress up a tree every year I, I know what you mean. Uh, I, to that effect, I want to pitch a holiday here real quick, which I, I, people have done a lot before, but I, so I'm sort of reiterating their arguments, but I think it makes a lot of sense. All right, new holiday. Everyone gets the day off. It's a national holiday, at least in America and probably everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, it is voting day. It is Whoa. voting day when everyone yeah. gets the day off, and you can go vote. It's easy. Nothing to worry about. you got one thing to do. I think voting should take a whole basic week, though. Shit. I don't think it should only, only be on one day. I think it's kind but, of But fucked. there is a day set aside where if you can't, for whatever reason, you've got a day where you can do it. I and think because there, there's a reason. I'm surprised for that. it isn't already a thing. Like it seems yeah. mm -hmm. very dumb. Well, I think it could be a places. reason. I, I, I'm sure some people oppose it because like there was a measured. I'm sure some people have done studies on what it would be like if they did that, and they found like, uh oh, that means like 50 percent more blacks will vote. Right. That yeah, well, I was going to say like, it, it's, no, it's no, very please, easy to to quell the working class right. well, if they're yeah, too just, busy just, working yeah, a 12-hour shift. Categoric Kind of fucking gorically, uh, politicians who make the laws and decide rules like that are all very comfortable with the exact mechanisms that got them elected. So there you go. Yeah. Exactly, which is why they, they these people cannot. We it's it's ridiculous that we have the people making the decisions on how to do this stuff are also the ones like you know the, themselves. The people uh, who no uh, one slaves for should be systems. in charge. It should be a separate body that decides this stuff. But I got a separate in any case, body that's for just, you. That's just a so. Um, Just a thing. To answer your question of like who's pro and anti holiday, I am yeah. pro holiday as an idea, but yeah. I think I'm anti a lot of the holidays that exist. And yeah. mostly because the, they're just so like homogenized dated. and like, it's all the. Yeah, it makes everything the same. Like you go right. out, 
fucking Christmas is is the worst. And um, my in my family over the last decade or so, we've done a lot of like experimental Christmas alternatives. For instance, <laughs> in 2008, we celebrated Festivus, the made up holiday oh. from Seinfeld. Mm-hmm. Um, and then for the next two years, I made up my own holidays. One was. Uh, where we celebrated Hearth Swarming Eve, the oh, <laughs> I remember you yeah. talking about yeah. this. There was a whole yeah. video about it. One of the I oldest know. videos on my channel mm-hmm. was a twenty minute explanation and like and and I remember that. Like cataloging of what happens on Hearth Swarming Eve. And mm-hmm. I basically mm-hmm. just took the stuff that happens in the show and like re like reimagined it for what real people would do, you know? Right, yeah. Um, like I just think Warming in- Eve, ponies all come together, unicorns, Pegasi, Earth ponies, whatever, being friends with each other, regardless of race, someone needs to remind these upstarts of their place. Hey, hey, Phantom so Reviews. Dude, like go fucking on. <laughs> the thing with holidays is they're just dated. And the reason why they continue to persist with such uh hackneyed tradition is because no one wants to look like the fucking curmudgeon who doesn't right. want to participate, right? That's so the, cur- that's the hardest mm-hmm. part is like right. convincing people like, no, I, I like hanging out with my family. I like buying you all mm-hmm. things. What I don't like is that for two months out of every fucking year. Everywhere I go is playing Christmas music. Right. And yeah. it's the same Christmas music. 15 songs. Yeah, the same 15 songs oh, reimagined oh, infinitely. And the worst part oh. is that none of the reimaginings are any good. It's well, all yeah. like the oh. shittiest quality music playing. Oh, we go fuck. out. Devu, hold on a second. Let me do my rant. We go out <laughs> and fucking like. They'll be playing like this, like shit MIDI version of like <laughs> some obscure Christmas song that no one cares about. And like, there was one. There's this one that's on the radio right now that I heard in the department store, and it made me like feel like I was on drugs, like more hey, so well. than usual. Like, <laughs> well, I, dude, was, did you guys know Digibro does drugs? Okay, it was like on, this weird, on. like, uh, I don't know. It was like a. A feeling like like the music was just bad in like a way that's like hypnotic, and it like made me feel like my brain was rotting out of my head. Like they were trying to like push Christmas like subliminals into me or some <laughs> it should shit. Should be a fucking Dude, Will I what, Am what song Christmas was album. I don't remember what it was. One of the generic yeah. Christmas uh, songs, but like one of the mm-hmm. instrumental ones. Well, it was like a really with, bad instrumental. Like it just sounded with- like shit. My thing with Christmas music that I only really thought about this year is regardless of the like comp- like regardless of the uh, recording quality is that you know how like in a song by the third time you get to the chorus the singer is like doing it a little bit differently because that's how logic yeah. works yeah. the way with Christmas music is because I-, I think this is like a subliminal subconscious thing that everyone has done is that because everyone's heard these songs thousands of times they're sort of singing it as though it's the 2000th version of the chorus so I'm not going to yeah. try and sing it but I'll do the rhythm of like I'll be home for Christmas, if only in <laughs> my dreams, they sing it yeah. as like wrongly as possible it's, it's because like, like that's how you do it differently. That's how you well, stand out by doing it like wrong. The jazz swing version. Now it's like jingle bells, jingle bells. It's like you can't make jingle bells sound cool. It's always gonna be fucking jingle bells, you know? Right, exactly. Like, and and the worst part is that it's playing literally everywhere. So like I right. go out to have like Chinese food and they're playing it at the Chinese food place and I'm like I was kind of trying to escape the American Christmas culture by coming to some foreign land, but no, there is no escaping were, were it. They, were right. they singing Jingle Bells in Chinese? Because that would have been cool. No, they were doing the fra ra 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 Dude, like, I remember, okay, did you, you know, you watched Todd in the Shadows. I remember one yeah. year, I think it was 2012, he was like, guys, we seriously need some more Christmas songs. So he reviewed a bunch of new Christmas songs, hated them all. Next Christmas, he said, yeah, there's nothing else to sing about Christmas. We're done. It's a, it's an expense idea yeah. it's done with so here's the thing about all the holidays but mostly christmas they're dated but the way they made the way that they are celebrated now made sense for the baby boomers it made sense back in the 50s and 60s back in the 50s and 60s we had three channels on tv now we have a thousand we had one flavor of pasta sauce now we have 20 we need more options it's it's just yeah. too similar so here's my proposal we need a bright neon 80s style future to move right back. we need 80s you know neon uh, holidays closer. We are now a culture of options and customization. So here's my proposal. (laughs) Halloween and Christmas become merged because people want that anyway. So many people do Halloween stuff for Christmas or like, like, you know. It's a terrible idea. We have have to separate these. It's a fantastic idea. Like, Are you like saying it's just, that okay, basically okay. It, like, it's like a pick, like, okay, the last three months of the year is holiday time, but you get to pick mm. which holiday. Is that what yeah, you're you saying? you can do any combination that you want. Like, you can choose your own adventure holiday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like right. Fucking imagine you're sitting down to Christmas dinner and a trick-or-treater comes up to the door. 
pork gravy in their bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like throw also, you know what? I didn't even think him. about this until this Here's podcast. Fucking sprout. Fucking throw Easter in there too. <laughs> Easter is already too samey, so that way, like, you get a customization going the fuck on, right? Makes sense yeah. to me. And just make New Year's just like the the. I think, I think the, the uh, problem with the holidays has become because I, I like the idea of holidays in in concept, kind of like similar mm-hmm. to what you were saying, Digi. Is that like I like the idea of just like you know, uh, good times, like good food, hang out with family, whatever. Um, but the problem is because it's become so corporatized, it just feels so fake. Like there's this yeah. this this pr- omnipresent fake goodness that's yes. really just well, an excuse know, to make I you mean, want to spend more speak, money. Speaking of the of the corporatization of it, all right, this is this is a whole other bag of tricks. Yeah, we I, get I, into I, here. I saw your podcast. I know where this is going. Do you, do, what, what what podcast? I have no idea. Yeah, the the about. one you did with Rucka Rucka. Oh oh yeah, of course. Uh, I, th- this is a slightly different point though. This oh, okay, is about how Cut every that day, <laughs> it's how every smart. day, <laughs> every day is like now is a holiday. Like they've they've gone through the yeah. calendar. They found oh, every yeah, single day. That's true. I, I have I have pulled up a list. Everybody, I'm looking at it right oh, now. What, okay. what holiday is it right now? I, I'm happy to tell you, today is the 23rd of December that we're recording on it. This is, in fact, Festivus Day, but oh, it is right. also Roots Day. I don't know what that means, but it is Roots Day. Tomorrow, Sounds in addition to being relaxing. Christmas Eve, is National Chocolate Day and Fuck. also National Eggnog Day. Remember to go oh, out my chocolate national, eggnog, kids. W- w- when you say national, is that uh, an American? It's America. It, this is America. Well, okay, th- yeah. That's the so thing. I'm, I'm clean. There's oh, and, a national... just, for the, just for the viewers, just for the viewers' enjoyment, this episode will come out on the 31st, and just so you know, listener, it is New Year's Eve and Unlucky Day and Make Up Your Mind Day, according to <laughs> HolidayInsights.com. Right. So the, the thing is that all holidays now are just memes. Like all of right. these, all of these made up holidays that are like for every day of the year, they come from Facebook. Like someone right. makes, yeah. someone makes a Facebook image meme that's like. Oh, this is now National Cookie Day, and then like everyone mm-hmm. shares that because my mom shares all these. Like, if it's something she likes, <laughs> my mom will be like, "Oh, it's Cookie Day," and she'll like come right, home with just, cookies, and I'm it's, like, it's, "This is a fucking meme," you know? Right? It's it's one half meme, one half marketing. It's simply like, "Hey, we're a brownie you know company. This... Let's make sure what Brownie Day gets celebrated a lot." Oh, uh, so we brownie can get Day is uh, uh, National Brownie Day for uh, uh, the eighth of December. National Fuck. Brownie Day. Damn it, it! I missed it. Missed it. Uh, yeah. By the way, this this really reminds me. I, I didn't realize that was the case. Gib, you know how in One Piece, in the uh, in the in like the question and answer thing, whatever it's called, the SBS, Oda yeah. will just get someone will send a message, and be like, "Hey, can this person's birthday be this day?" And he's just like, "Sure, fine, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it's exactly that arbitrary." <laughs> Yeah. Well, <laughs> what, so, a, what a world. Oh, I wanted to talk about my my one other made up uh my own version of Christmas cuz mm. cuz the the corporatization is why my family kind of stopped celebrating main mainstream Christmas, which they do again mm-hmm. now cuz my parents my dad grew up with it. My dad kind of likes having the tree and like the decorations like putting the presents under the tree like that's the main part of it he still cares about it's like mm-hmm. let's just make sure there's a decorated tree with shit under it i like that you know because in sure, some yeah. of our weird made-up holidays it was usually just like they just we just had like a big bag with gifts in it and we just kind of <laughs> hand them out and it just it doesn't have much drama to the actual gift yeah. giving you, you know? just were yeah. santa you just had the bag yeah. itself just like fuck so, that like, guy we got this one of the one of the holidays i had made up was called agarwood day and it was uh, <laughs> it was based around the the band Agalodge, who is a, <laughs> a a a like black metal band, but like basically their music sounds like winter, and like I associate winter with the aesthetic of black metal as opposed to Christmas music, which is like the exact opposite. Me too. Yeah, but, me like, too. You know, like I'm looking out the window right now. There's a fucking blizzard going on. I'm in New York, so it's like it's snowing constantly, and I'm like, this does not make me think like last Christmas I gave. This makes me think like Mother North, you know. So like it's the coziness though. When you're inside and it's snowing outside, it's the, it's the coziness of it. When you're by the fire and it's all warm, no that's the feeling I associate with it. But uh, no, you but don't yeah. you don't stay inside cozily when there's snow. So, you so, put on a giant fur coat and like yeah, with a pipe anyway, and go out. Th- just to summarize it, the idea of Agarwood Day was I would take an Agalotch song and interpret mm-hmm. the lyrics as things that we could do on the holiday. Because <laughs> our family's all always been a big about like the activities of a holiday. Like it's not so much about like the religion, the sitting around with, with, with your family or whatever. Like we don't really do mm-hmm. like the Christmas dinner so much as like what are fun things you can do on a holiday. So like one we have for Christmas that we still do, and I, I don't know about this year because I won't be there, but like we usually make a giant bonfire 
bonfire on Christmas because we have like a fire pit in my backyard. And we'll do this thing where we write down on a piece of paper like something we don't want to take with us into the new year and throw it into the fire. Dude, holy shit. Yeah. That's so like, like the opposite if, of like uh, the opposite of like uh, the new year's resolutions. Yeah, exactly. It's like a it's like the you throw away this stuff and then on New Year's you pick up what you're going to take with you into the next year. Which Whoa, incidentally really cool. on New Year's, mm. which I'll get into a lot. We have a lot of New Year's traditions, but the my mm-hmm. favorite one is that we take our our champagne glass and like you're not supposed to drink the champagne until the ball drops, right? Like 10 right, 9 right. 8, you hit one, you drink. But before that, you write down like your New Year's resolution on like a tiny slip of paper and you burn it into your drink. So like right. you then you then okay. drink it with the champagne and uh, right. you know yeah I did that I've, with I've been you having real good luck with yeah we all did that um, along with our other traditions which are donuts for some reason we always eat donuts drink a shitload yep. of champagne and we make party hats like we each make our own party hat that like is supposed to encapsulate like everything you yeah. you sort of did and were in oh, 2016 oh you guys did that when i i remember we were around for uh, when when radcon at the beginning of this year happened yeah. you, those were still hanging around yeah, yeah me and yeah, ben and cool. did that mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. um but yeah so that, that that's why i love new year's and i i love that aspect i love the creative aspect of holidays being like like with easter again the egg hunt like that's a great idea of like oh mm-hmm. we're gonna hide eggs and shit like that but the problem is that it ends up being just shit that everybody does and it's not necessarily what your family wants to do right and I, I think a lot of like what killed um like thanksgiving and christmas for me is that like my extended family are all kind of like we don't really get along with a lot of them and like they all kind of sure, live far sure. apart so we don't have like when i was a kid it was like oh the whole family's here for christmas and i get that i totally get why people would enjoy that but when it's like just you and like it's just you, your parents and kids and it's like well we all bought each other stuff i guess even though we're all in our 20s now and like you know, like yeah, money, when you were a kid, yeah. you you only cared about Christmas because that's when you got a game console. You know, you right. couldn't get a game console exactly. any other time of the year. I, I um, think that yeah, if and when I have kids, I think I'm gonna try and like make loopholes to make them not care so much about the about the getting shit of Christmas. Like I'm I don't just gonna buy it, them a console when it comes out, <laughs> or when <laughs> a good game comes holiday. out. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh, or rather, they're gonna be like, I, "What the fuck's a console?" Yeah, who knows? Yeah, well, fair point. Console gaming um, might not be I, around in 10 years. I, I, I've been thinking uh, about the commercialization of Christmas, and I think mm-hmm. I... I mean, I don't, you know, jump into it, like, I don't embrace it myself, but I do like that it exists, because it yep. allows me to judge myself and my family above all the stupid people who buy into <laughs> the, the commercial, the buying the stuff, the, 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 cheap, uh, the cheap Chinese plastic that they... L- and the millions of lights and it's just yeah, yeah fuck you. I, 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 I had a nice I had a nice meal. I gave a gift that I knew uh, my people my family would want to them and I saw them open it and it was great. And I had one party and that's all I need and everyone who goes beyond that is just somebody who I can laugh at. So it's like even funnier. So sure. I, I like I like the commercialization. It, Hippo, it's pretty good. Hippo, I'm glad you reminded me of this. A few weeks ago I was standing outside having a cigarette on my front porch. And I look down the road, and a few houses down, I I see a guy get out of his truck, and he puts something on the ground, and then slowly, what inflates from the ground, is an eight foot tall minion, dressed, oh! <laughs> dressed as Santa Claus, like wearing like oh, the Santa yeah. helper hat. Well, you know, eight you know, foot I minion. One of those sorts of things. <laughs> I want I, that. I overheard oh, the guy those. talking to his neighbor, and he goes, uh, "The neighbor's like, oh my god, right?" And he's like, "Yeah, she told me. I told her I wanted to get an inflatable. She said I could only do it if it was a minion." And I said, "Fair what? game, <laughs> dude. Like, uh, like uh, on the lawn around game. me, there's there's a bunch of fucking like inflatable minions. Like, there's one house that has like three minions yeah, I've seen on, those, in front yeah. of it. What is with the fucking minions? I'll, I'll tell I you what the understand. fuck is with the minions. I'll tell you okay. what the fuck is with the minions, Nate. Moms, everyone's mom. Despicable so Me like, is a so, mom franchise. Uh, there's, there's just no two ways it about it. It kind of is. I think my no, mom no, kind of thinks abs- they're cute, no, too. No, no, This is scientifically proven by me mm. through my life. It'd be like, I go up to everyone be like, what's up with all the minions? They're like, yeah, what's up with all the minions? What's up with Despicable Me? Why is it so popular? I don't know. Hey, mom. Oh, I love Despicable Me. I love the minions. They're great. It's just a mom movie. And moms, you know, yeah, minions are mother's things. 
It makes sense I, I to me. So. This, this reminds me of something about why does the holidays. It makes sense though. I don't know it why. It makes a weird because kind of sense. No, 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 no. Because the the main character of Despicable Me like raises three adopted girls. Like, he is like a logic. mom kind of character. Yeah, yeah, he's a mom character. Yeah, but they but they only talk about and show and pick the the the, the, the little weird yellow guys. Well, yeah, they, 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 nobody nobody has merchandise of the characters of that movie. Well, because they, they the minions like are the movies. distillation of the yeah. feelings that you feel when you watch, well, that, that a mother feels when they I'm watch the movie. You've got to get a fucking inflatable fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty sick. Especially if it does you, you spin. Dude, only if you could actually, like, imagine yeah, having spin. a giant inflatable if it's fidget spinner that if it's yeah, spun. actually spins. Yeah. That'd be pretty bad. Oh, that'd be sick. Or especially, <laughs> like, like, maybe Santa Claus is, like, flipping it around with, like, the some meme glasses and shit. <laughs> I just want I just want that Ajit Pai meme yeah, like yeah, as an inflatable, an inflatable on, right. my, on my lawn. <laughs> He's very festive. That would right. do it. Uh, but Tom, what, what were you saying, dude? I, I was just gonna say uh, lawn ornaments. That reminds me of like mm-hmm. something that I always just found really just dumb about the holidays, like the tryhards who like deck mm. their entire house out and like yeah, all these lights and all these decorations. There's a there's someone who's uh, down the street from us like every year. It's just his entire house, all of his yard, all of the dude. fence. Just, just, just like I can't imagine this dude's power bill. It must dude, be he's pe- he's peacocking insane. so hard. He's pulling so much puss. Well, he's sliding so much puss with that. I gotta I, tell it's you, ridiculous, Tom. I gotta <laughs> tell you about this guy in my old neighborhood. There's this walking down the main road that goes into my neighborhood. There's these two houses directly across from each other that are always like pulling out all the stops on their Christmas shit. No one else in the neighborhood's like this. It's just these two guys. They're obviously competing with each other. But one of them has gotten to the point where during the holiday season, they put like a full monitor in their window and just play like live footage of Christmas carols. Like, like, on wow. stage. Like, they play, like, live Christmas carol performances, like, all day and night on a fucking huge monitor in the window that you can hear when you're walking past the house. Yeah. It's fucking insane. So, Dude, the weirdest, the weirdest one that I ever found is my... It was, like, two years ago, and my mom... My mom is totally into all this shit. She loves it. She'll never do any of it herself because she's too lazy, but, like, likes being the observer. <laughs> so uh-huh. she 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 demanded that all of us get in the car and drive somewhere. Yeah, so that, we, we used drove, to do that when we were kids. Our whole no, no, no. family would Here's pile in a thing. car and drive this around was, This Christmas was lights. a bizarre experience. So we go all out of our way, like, 20 minutes to this house, and mm-hmm. we had to, like, turn on... I think we had to, like, turn on... Uh, the radio or something it was like either a radio or like a smartphone thing and you hit yeah. a button and a whole thing would play in this person's house you could start Whoa. it whenever just you wanted just this guy's house just this guy's Incredible. house he decked wow. out everything and it was like responding to like an app or something and you would make it like auto play oh that's cool and Things i'm just next level. and i'm just like i i appreciate the technical prowess that would need to be like done to do this but mm-hmm. at the same time right. What the fuck, man? Like, okay, like, I, I can craziest? explain this because down at the beach b- by my house, like on the main beach, there's this stretch of road that they turn into a light show during Christmas time, and basically it's like you come in and it it is like that. It's like a, I think they give you a CD or it was a radio station or something like that. But like this was from when I was a kid, so it wasn't no app or anything like that. But you would drive down this stretch of road and like you're supposed to listen to this particular CD while you're driving and like the music matches up with the lights and like like you know like if you're driving at the correct speed you know right yeah. so tom i think that's it, what he might have been inspired by is something like that tom did you ever go to la salette by any chance like um, where, where, where i lived in massachusetts like i right went up the street to la from salette us? once we used to go to the fatima <laughs> yeah. shrine a lot they had a lot did, of displays okay. there too dude guys that was like what right was, down the street what was from like me. the yeah. craziest law and ornaments i've ever seen it was these refreshing mm-hmm. breathments themed after the tv show law and order law and ornaments that's what i had i had them i ate them they refreshed uh, my breath uh, who, 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 excellent. I want uh, by to the way, die. everybody, uh, May 6th is National Beverage Day. Don't forget what to drink a beverage fuck? on May 6th, National <laughs> Beverage Day. <laughs> wait, wait, like, just, just completely any non It's just it beverage. Matter. It's just beverage. Just drink water that day. <laughs> like, like, Don't forget. Fuck? Do I not forget. I- <laughs> I guess I've been oh uh, celebrating that all my life. Yeah, yeah. I, I celebrate it every day. I'm, it's really been watered down, if you will. <laughs> oh, 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 yes! Jesus Christ. Guys, 
I want to say something about New Year's. Now, I'm going to tell a story, and I don't know if I'm either going to seem like a weirdo to everyone or will actually seem like I'm really on the level with a lot of people around the globe. So mm -hmm. it was last New Year's, so I was with Digi and Ben, and they were all like, oh, man, Davu, you want to go and watch the ball drop? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I had always heard of the ball being dropped, and I, I vaguely understood what it was, and they were like, wait, you've never seen the ball get dropped? And I was like, yeah, man, I'm living in a different time zone my whole life. I've never, there's never been a reason to watch the ball drop, to which these two East Coast for Life boys were like, oh, mm. you're mm. right! Holy <laughs> shit! Yeah. Never even fucking considered that! So, like, yeah. yeah, I've never even, like, knew what the ball drop was, because everyone who watches the ball drop, it's so ubiquitous and culturally understood, they never bothered to explain it. I just hear something about someone's balls right. dropping, and I'm like, well, I guess mm. it's worth watching. It's, it's just <laughs> weirdly, like, yeah, like, when you told me about that, I was like, of course it's an East Coast thing, like, that makes perfect sense. But everyone I lives guess. on the East right. Coast! Because it's new. It's from New York, like, it's based in New York, yeah, and, yeah. you know, all the channels, like, cover it and, and stuff, but, like, yeah, I never even considered the fact that it's, like, literally only makes sense if you live on the east coast of the United States yeah. or like a like, certain I, part I remember, of Canada. I remember I think maybe two years ago I, it, it, like, uh, I had done my New Year's celebration. I watched, like, the, the fireworks over Big Ben and, and you know, the, the, that's the London thing they do. They don't right. drop any mm -hmm. balls. They just mm -hmm. have a big fireworks display in the middle of London, sure. and it's on TV, and we watch that. And then, you know, five or six hours later, I'm still awake, you know, just, like, got a lot of alcohol, just happy and stuff. And then I see you in the chat. You guys, like, oh, yeah, happy New Year. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, fuck you, I win. Yeah. Um, indeed. Uh, in incidentally, everybody start gearing up for August 4th, National Clown Day, which, as everyone knows, <laughs> is the Saturday during International Clown Week! Wow. <laughs> it's just... All right, I'm sorry. Go on. <laughs> Dude, Digi, how do you feel that your birthday your birthday is 808's day? Like, that's pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah. 808. Dude, also, I have another holiday to propose. Course. I, I said You're this on of Twitter 808 before. On August 8th of this year, it's sneak some zucchini onto your neighbor's porch day. Don't miss fuck? it. Yeah, okay. What? Go is on. that for real, or did you just... It's, it's, is, are you dropping it's on new, the screen. new ones? It is on the screen. I'm looking sneak at it. Sneak a zucchini sneak. onto your neighbor's porch day. Indeed. That's what correct. if I don't have a neighbor or a porch or a zucchini? I just sneak or it on the your ability own. to sneak. I don't know. I'm like stuck <laughs> on that one. I'm like, I, don't know, I need some fucking explanation for that one. Well, that's just, it, I mean, they're all memes, but some of them are more real than others. Yeah, Back I when I was so. making my that own videos. clearly just some guy thought of it would it'd be fucking random. It's probably there's like, a fucking there's meme a tag from some adult film show there or something. There seems to be like a tagline for this day, which is, now that's nasty. That's uh, like, that's like was the that a phrase. Fucking family guy. I yeah, don't. I just feel like I have no anyway. I back when I was making my own videos, it was all into reviewing and stuff. I felt that October tenth should have been National Reviewers Day because the date hmm. you write down is ten 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 out of ten, the best score you oh, can give. Oh, so I like, like maybe that. maybe good. on ten ten you review either something that you consider to be a ten out of ten or you review Ben ten. Wait, sneak a zucchini, <laughs> sneak a zucchini onto your neighbor's porch day is eight eight. It is my birthday. Yeah, what August in 8th. the fuck? <laughs> well, everybody, it's your birthday too. Well, everybody, if you want to sneak some zucchinis on my birthday, let's make that a thing. If you get caught, you die. Celebrate <laughs> Digi Bro's <laughs> birthday by s fucking leaving zucchinis sneak on people's zucchini. What the fuck? <laughs> mm. My other, my, I think my last holiday-based proposal, and this one is entirely mm -hmm. self-interested, is to, uh, there's going to be a caveat here, there'll be a way to make up for this. Eliminate all three-day weekends, hold on, hold on, hold on, and mm. then just make everyone take all of Shark Week off. <laughs> because I hate three-day weekends. Usually it's because I was counting on doing something when the stores open again on Monday, but oh shit, one of the like five dozen three-day weekends hit me up the ass. Now I gotta wait another day to get it. I hate it. I don't, I'm ne I can never be prepared for it, you know? Like, a dude fucking found an entire pair of continents and we have to celebrate by not working? Be more like Columbus himself and actually get off your ass and do something. Don't take the day off. Bullshit. Take just the week of Shark Week off and just absorb yourself into the sharks and don't work for a week. And then that will be so much more simple and easy to keep track of for me. There's some I, there's some logic to that. Okay, condensing all the time up to a week. Okay, I'm still stuck on this zucchini thing, but this website that I was reading about <laughs> it on, 
um, is a website called National Day Calendar, and it like well. each day it tells you what the next day's holidays are going to be, like what mm-hmm. all the national whatever days are going to be for the next day. So posted on August seventh this year was the August eighth list of holidays. So mm-hmm. there was National Sneak Some Zucchini Into Your Neighbor's Porch Day, <laughs> National Happiness Happens Day, National what? Dollar Day, and National Frozen Custard Day. And I'm going to read you their write up on one of these for National Dollar Day because it's short. Okay. All right. So, okay, National Dollar Day. August 8th commemorates the day Congress established the U.S. monetary system in 1786. Oh. It's National mm-hmm. Dollar Day. The first U.S. dollar bill wasn't printed until 1862, and it didn't bear the image of George Washington either. Sam and P. Chase, President Lincoln's Secretary of Treasury, was featured on the first greenback. How to huh. observe. So they, they have sections in this. They're first mm-hmm. they tell you what it is, then they tell you how to observe, then they tell you the history. How to observe. Spend or save a dollar, depending on your preference. Use hashtag National Dollar Day to post on social media. Media. Here's the important part. History. Within our research, we were unable to identify the creator of National Dollar Day. Yeah. However, the yeah. origins are clearly related to the establishment of the U.S. It monetary was, it system. Was for, it was spawned from the womb of the invisible hand of the market. Now, now a, few, a, few, uh, a few scrolls down at the bottom of National Frozen Custard Day. History. Within our research, we are unable to find the creator of National Frozen Custard Day. So, like... These, like, they probably made, made these up, up themselves. Like, a couple Entirely of them. possible. The zucchini one, the zucchini one's history is that Tom Roy at wellcat.com created this zucchini holiday while doing years of news and talk radio. What the f- uh, uh, so, All right. Some so, yeah, talk radio just guy. Nonsense. Came okay, so hold it. on. Can we all just read off the, the holidays that uh, correspond to our birthdays? Because I got, like, eight, but I'll just blow through them real fast. We got okay. St. James okay, the Great sure. Day, Children's Day, Spring and Labor Day holiday, Walpurgis, Walpurgis Night. Oh, like Wal- Walpurgis from a fucking a Fates Day Night. Not Fates Day Night. Fucking Bible Black. Yeah, no, it's a sure. Magica had Walpurgis Night as the, the big final boss that kills everybody. Really? Holy Bible shit. Bible Black did it first and better because there was lots of chicks with all right. Dicks. Then we got state holiday. Okay. Also, Children's Day is a major Japanese holiday. Um, then we I have, don't know if that's the same one. Because wow. of all them, because of all them lollycons, if you know what I'm saying. Dude, yeah, then we have the saying, Taiwanese dude. God of Medicine's birthday, Education Day mm. in the Congo Democratic Republic, uh, Carnival Day, uh, oh Showa Day is for Japan, um, International Jazz Day. And liberation slash reunification day in Vietnam. Holy shit, you're right. <laughs> Dude, okay. incidentally, like, um, yeah, when Hitler was killed, April 30th, uh, fall of Saigon, April 30th, my birthday, and uh, I, when mm-hmm. Osama bin Laden was killed, I think it was April 30th somewhere. So basically, okay, a lot of bad. fucking conflicts end when I show up, which is kind of ac- inaccurate. <laughs> uh, well, hey, I, I pulled up mine. Uh, let's see, J- July 1st is my birthday. Uh, it is Build a Scarecrow Day. Okay, <laughs> it is. Canada Day slash Dominion Day. Uh, Dominion cool. Day? Dominion like Day. Minions? That's like the... <laughs> it's D-A <laughs> space Minion Day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it is Creative Ice Cream Flavors Day. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, International Chicken Wing Day. And I'll most appropriate... That. Uh, that's not bad. Most most uh, most appropriate to my birth, International Joke Day. Fuck! <laughs> you got there really you go. good ones. I there got really go. shitty, boring ones. You got Hitler's birthday or something. That's not no, bad. No, his birthday is April 20th, actually. But his death day oh, is right. the 30th, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, well, there you go. That's mine. Anybody else want to read theirs? Uh, uh, I'll go. I, oh, no, Hippo, mm-hmm. you go first. Mm-hmm. No, I was just going to say I don't know whether I could even find it. Because if I type in national holidays, it comes up with, like, uh, Just type uh, your birthday uh, travel and holidays. Here, and stuff. I'll link you in the chat. Uh, th- this is what I'm using. It's just, like, a list of... Um, I mean, like... it's going to be all American things, though. Oh, that, that, that is true. That, that I was trying true. to find whether there's, like, a, bu- uh, like a list of like English ones. Is there a Wikipedia thing for it, I think? Like, days of the... stuff. That... I mean, Tom could do it if he wants, though. Yeah, I got mine pulled up. All right, so my, okay. my birthday is November 8th. So mm-hmm. uh, the holidays are iPod Day... <laughs> what the fuck? What the shit, dude? That's yeah. terrible. Uh, okay, all right. Pythagorean Theorem Appreciation Day. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys all I have like better it. ones than me. Uh, wall Carpet Day. <laughs> wall <laughs> Carpet? The fuck? Yeah, that's what it says. And the okay. Silent what? Support okay. the, a Value of Life Day. You mean, is wait, that like wait, a pro-life sorry, say, thing? Say Science I, supports the I value don't, of life? I don't know. If that's and, a pro-life and, but, day, but I'm here's, here's the shit. best one, and the one that I feel I've, I've been horribly 
negligent in, cel- in celebrating spontaneous mm. elevator sex day. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Not bad. Whoa! Not bad. I, I know what I'm doing next year <laughs> for sure. Oh Whoa. my Holy god! Holy shit! Spont- Damn. Wait, like, can they? Are, are like, they allowed with, with to your encourage significant that? other? <laughs> Look, I don't know, but I, I'm just gonna. It's like it's my birthday. You That's know what else it is today? Line. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know it's spontaneous sex? Elevator sex day. <laughs> That's amazing. Like, oh my god. And they're trapped in the I elevator. They can't leave. Definitely finding a way to celebrate that holiday. <laughs> That's the great. Uh, okay, I, I know I can make. That I got stuck on the wall carpet one. Wall carpet day because <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, don't know what the fuck a wall carpet is. Carpet and when I go on the floor, on the you fools! What the fuck? When I, mean, I if you want to do an epic prank and and, Look, and, and convince I, somebody that they're a Spider Man, I typed <laughs> in I typed <laughs> yeah. wall carpet into Google, and all I've gotten is wall to wall carpets. Like, not anything yeah, about nothing. a carpet on the wall. And then I searched wall carpet day, and instead I got national lumpy rug day. Well, lumpy rug day. <sighs> I mean, you can, you can hang a rug on the wall, theoretically. Is that what this is? I, I don't know. I, I'm lost. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah. uh, it, it, this is this is on a, a, a fu- okay, first of all, this is an entire website dedicated to noise cancellation. It's called a- <laughs> AcousticsFirst.com, okay. Materials to Control Sound and yeah. Eliminate Noise. Man, I can about- see why you're such a product reviewer, Tom. You're, like, you're based on iPods yeah. and sound insulation and shit. <laughs> yeah, it says, Acoustic Myths and Realities, Carpet on the Wall. In the disco days of the late 1970s, floor carpet was often used in studios as acoustic wall treatment. Um, but I guess it's not actually good, <laughs> and so they're talking about like that's the the gist of this article is that wall carpet's not a good idea as a sound cancel. Okay. Uh, Sorry, I got enough. really sucked into wall carpet day. <laughs> uh, 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 did, did you did you want to read? Were there more of yours? Did we already go through all the? Oh, yours? you went through or, you went through the important um, ones. Of I mine. mean, okay, I got mine, but it's not that interesting. It's meteor it. watch day. Meteor so, like, watch you, day. Okay. You, you look at oh, that's meteors. that's where everyone sits. You, you go to the park and you look for like the the big girls, the meteor girls, and you're like, okay. yeah. Look at oh. that is it oh. isn't it true? Oh, yeah. Isn't it true that we can like predict when meteors will actually be visible? So like, shouldn't meteor watch day just be whatever day has meteors? Yeah. Like, well, <laughs> like every time there's a meteor that people are like talking about, I'm gonna hear about it on Twitter. That is meteor watch day. It's the day when Twitter's like, hey, a meteor's a, coming close to Earth today. You I should look out for it, you know? <laughs> With a little luck, you can see a meteor just about any night of the year, apparently. Okay. okay. That's what go. it says, but I don't A care. little luck? We better live <laughs> in fucking see. Alaska. Wait, what day is your birthday again? Uh, 30th of June. That's right, that's right. So uh, thanks for doxing me, Nate. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, the only thing on here is meteor day for that on, on the website I'm looking at. So, uh, right. who else needs to wait? Is that everyone? Yeah, I think oh, that's everyone. everyone. Wow. That's everyone. I'm trying to think of real How holidays. Very again. interesting. We haven't talked about Halloween yet. Uh, I that's don't, true. I, I'm gonna come out and be the guy who doesn't like Halloween at I'm not all. Not terribly into it, no. I don't like okay. The dressing up aspect, I kind of get, but like, as somebody who goes to conventions, like. Like, I don't feel like I have to wait for a holiday to do that. True. And, like, all the outfits are the same shit. Like, everybody just goes and, like, does the same fucking Halloween outfits. The thing... I've never been to a Halloween thing, party, per- personally, but... I, I lost my virginity at a Halloween party, so I will always be grateful yeah. to Halloween. <laughs> go go listen to uh, the How I Lost My Virginity episode of the PCP That's if right. you want to hear that story. That's right. But mm-hmm. guys, you're not fucking cool unless you lose your virginity on spontaneous elevator sex day. Don't <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're right. You're right. And God, spontaneous, how many remember, fucking... so do not ask permission. It's got to be God, spontaneous. Yeah, Just during, go. When you celebrate that holiday, how many fucking references to a shaft do you think are made? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This Too isn't the true. only shaft you're writing. Um, Halloween <laughs> is, is, uh, it is very, like I said earlier, it's good for kids. Kids, it's great for, for making funny little costumes and 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 you know uh, trick or treating mm-hmm. but everything else like the the going out to a party the first of all october's cold and parties happen it at is. night it so uh, yeah. and getting in a costume may or may not cover you up pr- pr- that's, well that's enough that's part of the point so, is that the girls go mm-hmm. out in the slutty outfits and they're cold and so they need men to keep them warm that's why mm. men go to the parties is to fuck all the slutty dressed as the fucking wolf girls. man I mean yeah um, that's definitely the idea yeah I mean, I, they're definitely I hook know. up I've parties never, 
Mm -hmm. I've no never, doubt, no doubt. I've never been uh, to like a Halloween party like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'd like it, but in general, I just, I don't, I don't no. care. I don't I, like the kids coming to the door. I, I don't yeah, like. Annoying. I used to pretend to to. I, like, I used to be tasked with standing near the door or being the guy who goes to the door and hands the bowl to the kids and say, "Here's your well, fucking." Okay. Let me take stuff. a step back on this Halloween thing because I think there's really two different Halloween holidays. There's mm. the normie, mm. widely accepted Halloween, which is the combination. If you're an adult, it means you go to a party. I don't care for that. And if you're a kid, it means you go trick or treating, which was fun when I was a kid. I'm too old for it, so I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm okay mm -hmm. with that Halloween. The Halloween that bores me and that I'm not interested in is the nerd Halloween, which is where every single year. Everybody who likes horror at all yeah. transforms their internet presence into nothing but horror-themed shit for an entire month. And as somebody who's not into horror or its aesthetic, like, at all, I just, every October, I'm just like, oh, here we go. I'm going to hear about I all the horror classics again. I agree with that a yeah. lot. Yeah. Especially, like, it's really a very mild, like, annoyance, but it is still annoying. Just to see absolutely yeah. everyone from October the 1st change their Twitter avatar and name. Yeah. So they don't yeah. know who That's anyone why, is. Let, let's talk about this real quick, because, Gabe, you right now, it is Christmas time, and you have a Halloween avatar that inspired the greatest webcomic ever created, <laughs> uh, Pumpk and the Gang, or whatever it was called. Uh, Bale Jape. Uh, it, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, like, I... I, m I drew that pumpkin girl during October, mm -hmm. and I just thought, uh, that, that's a cool face, I'll put it in my profile picture, but Halloween had ended, mm -hmm. and I thought, wouldn't it be funny to just do the wrong thing <laughs> all yeah, the time? Perfect. So, and, so I'm, going yeah. to, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and keep this tradition going, I'm going to be Halloween during uh, Christmas, and I'm gonna be Christmas during uh, something else. April uh, Fool's uh, or something, I don't Day. know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna change excellent. my name when people have changed it. Back. Oh man, we definitely got to talk about uh, Valentine's Day I think as like well. The, uh, the holidays. frustration that Digi expressed towards the Super Halloween nerds is something that, like, if you are a person who likes to watch lots of reviews and analyses, you can relate to. People like James Rolfe, he Halloween is legitimately his religion. Like, he's as fanatical for Halloween as any of and as anybody's mm -hmm. parents are for God. It's fucking nuts. Remember that it, fucking yeah, it's guy? Kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying. You guys have listened, most of you have listened to The Biggest Problem in the Universe. Remember that fucking yeah. guy they had on two years in a row who was like the Halloween yeah. guy? Who yeah. was like yeah. very seriously, legitimately trying to argue that like Halloween needs to be recognized as a national holiday. But like his reasoning is like because it's cool. Like he had no like real reason, but he was very passionate that like this needed to be a real national holiday. And I I'm think, just like, what I is wrong what, with you, dude? I think what should be is it should be that Halloween, uh, the day after you should you should have the day off because like everybody does shit oh, all yeah. night, especially kids. Like they got to go to school mm, the next mm. day. And they've been up all night out doing bullshit. Like yeah, that's lame. Eating that. syringe filled candy and whatnot. They, you know they're they tuckered should, out. Halloween should either the next day, like November first, should be uh, a day off, or Halloween mm -hmm. should be rescheduled to be like the last Friday of October, so nobody yeah. gets fucked over. Yeah. I think Halloween mm. kind of keeps its punk edge, though, by the fact that, like, choosing to celebrate it is sort of mm. choosing against your other responsibilities. Uh, I'll There's something to that. There's it's unrecognizedness that. from tell the you government what. keeps it punk. When I was mm. a little kid, I definitely liked Halloween more because my mom was a big Halloween decorator. Like, she, mm. we had tons of Halloween shit. So, like, she would, like, cover the house in, like, scary, spooky crap. And um, there was this, like, fold-out... This, like, pop-out calendar thing where it was basically, like, a big spooky mansion. It had a bunch of doors with numbers on them. And every day, you would open one of the doors and there'd be a monster inside. And so, like, it's sort of a game where every day you have to open another door on this thing. And I think the moment I realized I was too old for Halloween was when I, like, was not excited to open the doors on the Halloween calendar anymore because I'd yeah. seen all the monsters yeah. so many times. I'm like, I don't fucking care, you know. That was when I knew. No more trick-or-treating for me. Uh, just eating you know, my brother's you know, the, candy from do, now do, on. How do you how the, do you feel about these? Uh, like you see, high schoolers or even older, like guys, like ironically trick or treating. I've they, I've seen that. I did this a little bit assholes. in high school. I did. It's I think I probably did it a little bit when I was fourteen because I was because I was going out yeah. with my little brothers anyway. I was like seventeen. <laughs> 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 I was living large and in charge, man. <laughs> No, uh, but I, no. I'm, yeah. I'm done with that life. I'm done with that life. We that used was to get, officially ten years ago. We used to Jeez. always get like one of the first trick or treaters you'd get every night would be like like a like a 17 year old kid with just like yeah. a little bit of like football face paint on, and they'd just be wearing their football jersey, and they'd be like, "Oh, I'm, I'm like a ghost football 
player. Lol. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and get out of here. Like, my I'm mom would lie. chew I, those kids out. <laughs> I legitimately oh, really? did That's the good. whole fucking, like, homeless guy thing, like, at least once, because I was just really lazy, oh, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. I think if, if you're the, gonna, if you're gonna give out candy, that's just every, a sheet. you should always have a second bowl of bullshit for people who say Hey, suck. not bad, not bad. You yeah. should be able to differentiate between good and bad trick-or-treaters, because there is yeah. a difference. You just give licorice to, like, all the shit ones, and then, like... Exactly. True. Yeah. And so, then okay, fucking Reese's to all the good kids. <laughs> yeah, this year, yeah. this year we did not, um... Yeah. So I, I live in my own place now. The the reason we stopped ce celebrating Halloween, um, not only was because we moved into a house that was too big for all the decorations. Mm -hmm. Like my mom tried to Halloween that front yard. You guys know what my front yard looked like. Like mm -hmm. it's fucking mm -hmm. huge. And she tried to decorate it, but like there just wasn't enough stuff to make it look like cohesive or scary. So she yeah, just kind of yeah. gave up. We also never once got a trick or treater in the like nine years we lived. Because you're on a fucking highway. Yeah, no one's gonna exactly. Bring their kids along. Yeah, so yeah. um, so when we moved, uh, you know, in my new new place i was like oh we can you know we might get trick-or-treaters but they gave us these little signs that they're like you have to put this sign on the door to indicate that mm. kids can come to your house or else they won't and uh okay. we just didn't end up putting it on like during those out like we we bought a bag of just reese's and kit kats because i was like i'm gonna be the best house on the block i'm only gonna give reese's and kit kats the <laughs> only two candies that actually matter at all like if i go out on christmas or, or halloween i will throw out all the rest of the candy for my brothers i just want the reese's and kit kats they're the only really good candy and like those those, I, those flavored tootsie rolls like the yeah, like those are the, good the, the, I like love lime those. ones or whatever those i remember so great. vividly one day trick-or-treating like it, this was like this is like my That's greatest Starburst. memory uh, Starburst is great too, but we I got a full size three musketeers bar. A full size. Hell yeah. It was unbelievable. Yeah. No, it was the greatest that's day the of my greatest life. Thing ever. Those are yeah, the ones you that give you full wings, size, right? you're just like, holy yeah. shit. It was ridiculous. I, so decadent. I remember this this really cool memory of, of um childhood Halloween time mm -hmm. where we went trick or treating and stuff and we got all the candy, but then uh, we brought it into to the living room, and Dad had like a cassette of like the Monster Mash playing, and <laughs> and we would like um oh my god the three of something us something about me your and my two dad brothers. being there listening to the Monster Mash sounds inherently <laughs> it's very easy to imagine. Hippo's <laughs> yeah. dad listening yeah. to Monster just, Mash just just kind of gyrating a you, little bit. You <laughs> just reminded me. It. You just reminded no, me that we had like a horror CD that like my mom would put on and like blast oh, out of the CD. house. Like like it was just Word. like all these horror themed songs, but like we'd o like have the window open and be blasting this. So like when kids came by, they'd hear the spooky music, you know. But it was all songs yeah. like Monster Mash, like these like retarded ass like fifty <laughs> songs that aren't even scary. Yeah. And, and and that was it was just like this memory of that being on in the background, and we mm -hmm. had this big pile of of candy and uh, sweets and stuff. We put it all in the middle. And then we like me and my brothers um, divvied it up like mm -hmm. um, based on how good our costumes were. Uh, like we argued okay. with it, but like it was it was basically like the bulk of the evening was us deciding who would get what. <laughs> and if there was like four of something, we had to decide who would get the extra one. Mm -hmm. And it was it was a uh, that's a nice memory. I do remember loving trick or treating. I, I I love like making costumes. I didn't make a lot. But I remember my favorite one was kind of like at the end of when I was starting to get too old for it, mm -hmm. where I, I made um, a paper mache Ichiko, Ichigo... Um, Kurosaki? Oh Kurosaki. my god. Yeah, oh. Ichigo Kurosaki Bankai Hollow Mask, and I painted yeah. it red with the things. Hell yeah. The Vizard Mask. And I got, Sick. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, the Vizard Mask. I got l like a little plastic katana, and I painted it black <laughs> with poster paint. And I, and I walked around, and I was uh. so cool. I was the coolest kid, except I wasn't. But it was so fun. Shit, there's a term in in uh, uh, in Bleach for, like, like this, it's called, like, a flash step, only in, Jap in Japanese, where you can, like, it's like their teleport equivalent. I bet you were just flash stepping everywhere from house <laughs> to house at light fucking speed using that bankai. <laughs> oh, I was. <laughs> Incredible. Yo, were uh, you going to, like, turn the subject to, like, April Fool's or some such? Oh, I was going to go to uh, Valentine's Day next. I wanted to talk about Valentine's Day. Oh, so many Day. I forgot about. Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day is a fascinating holiday to I, me. You know, uh, I kind of like Valentine's Day. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I like, like, conceptually, I think it's a good idea. I like that there's some holidays that are not for everybody. You know, yeah, like, cause, it's interesting. And, and everybody who like, there's always like the Singles Awareness Day and all that shit on holiday on mm -hmm, Valentine's mm -hmm. Day, which mm -hmm. I don't. I feel like that <laughs> is people trying to co-op someone. Like, look, how, how Valentine's Day is just not for single people. 
Like, you mm-hmm. don't have yep. to, like, make it about yourself. You don't have it to, is, like, make a big show. Is, oh, everybody else is in a relationship and I'm depressed about it. Like, just don't I mean, celebrate it. Just ignore it's, it. It's you know? one thing It's one thing for, for it to be a holiday for not for them. Like, the, yeah. we don't, we don't like, celebrate, I don't know, Scottish holidays. or yeah. But the, the, sure. the same thing is that the, there's not, like tons of Scottish merchandise in the stores all That's over the true. place Real. for ages. Yeah, it does kind of shove in your face. I don't, I don't think... Mm-hmm. Uh, Valentine's Day isn't, like, that... Like, it's not nearly as bad as Christmas. There's not, like, music it's, for I it. I mean, online, as bad as online it's, it's hard to, to like forget that it happened because yeah. yeah, if you're, if you're just like going to amazon it. to buy something I, you're gonna know it's valentine's yeah. day i mean i i know that <laughs> the like i like the valentine's day like um even as a single person like i like mm-hmm. it as this just general celebration of like love like i love when everyone does the the waifu like cake where, where like yeah, anime fans case. will always mm-hmm. like take a picture of them like with a real cake in front of their monitor and their waifu on it and i fucking <laughs> love that and um i did Sure, For, so so one year on my anime blog, it was Valentine's Day. Everybody was making their mm. Valentine's posts. Bunch of people with cake and their wife. Everyone's just making waifu jokes. So I was I wanted to do that. Jokes, he says. And jokes. I had uh, <laughs> I had my waifu pillow of uh, what's her name from Sengoku Basara, uh, Uesugi oh, uh, Kenshin. Oh yes, my Kenshin, waifu. Right? Um, what's her name? <laughs> she literally wasn't my waifu. I just had this random pillow because it was like cheap. That it came with a magazine. Um, and I just wanted to own one. So I had this Dakimakura, and I took a picture of, like, me, like, like hugging the Dakimakura and making this, like, wild and crazy face. But, like, I also wanted there to be the food element. Like, I'm sharing a, a meal with her, but oh, I didn't no. have any cake. So I just made myself this enormous egg salad sandwich. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just this photo. I'm going to find it for you guys. There's a photo okay. of me, like, <laughs> making this, like, crazy face, hugging a hug pillow, and holding a gigantic egg salad sandwich. And it's like, happy Valentine. And stay from, from me and my wife. It. It's fucking There really great. should be a holiday. The egg salad represents egg salad, fertility. By the way. And this oh is, yeah, you're right. This, by the way, is me when I'm like 17. So like, I look terrible in this picture sure, as well. I gotta course. find it though. You know, you know what would make <laughs> Valentine's Day like not depressing for so many people? Mm-hmm. If if part of the holiday was, um, you're expected and encouraged to like uh confess love to whoever it is and it's not weird it's like it is not weird that's part of the holiday okay. it is not weird I mean, that, no that matter is what technically a big part of valentine's day especially in japan is like the confession like giving people chocolate and like confessing yeah. that you have feelings for them but mm-hmm. it not being weird i like, don't know how you can beat that that demon uh it's it's impossible it's but thing. it would be it would make it like not a problem if if it was just a normal for for people to to say that and and to get I mean, it out of yeah. the system because a, a, a lot of the time it just it just reminds them of it and they mm-hmm. feel like mm-hmm. they can't say it and it's just it's just bad like i never used to like it i i don't think about it too much now and in fact the the the, the, the large amount of people who constantly like poo poo it every year mm-hmm. makes me like it more because i yeah. don't like I don't like being with the crowd on that. That's stupid. I don't yeah. want to wallow. And and what do you think about this this uh, this thing? It's kind of what Digi was saying before about like co-opting it for people who don't really deserve it. Of like when you're a kid and they make you give like cards to like literally everyone instead of just like one person or something. You know what, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? That's, oh, yeah, that's I hate kind of like uh, fucking thank you cards for birthday shit. Like, it's no, like no. it's like I, I choo- don't. Choo- we choo- should we you. should not we should not do people the disservice of making people think that they are cared about if they are in fact undeserving of people liking them or caring about them because then they won't improve themselves and you know fuck that they should they should know that it's, they're worthless if they are worthless so that they can I, one day not be it worthless says, i don't like cards mine, in general and it has a picture of a bee on it <laughs> yeah i don't i don't like cards because i don't feel like they're really expressing anything you just picked it you didn't make it i have yeah. ever since i was a kid i've always been to like make cards a lot yeah, I wanted to That's make better. cards, That's but better. then I just... Uh, I just feel like holidays in general, they're meant to relax after work, and I've never in my life felt like I've gotten enough work done to deserve it. So that's why Dude, I'm having a problem with holidays you, right you now. Know what? You know what? Actually, this is a thing about holidays in general. My favorite thing to do on holidays, and I kind of feel this on, like... For example, my favorite day to exercise is on Friday because everybody takes Friday off and is a lazy piece of shit. And so when I'm in there, I get to feel so superior to everyone who's not in the gym on Friday. Uh, and similarly... On my favorite day to like go for a run or work out is like on Christmas Day or something like that. I feel so superior to all those waste of space out there who are not grinding away this day. Oh, it's the best. It's the best. It's my favorite. Like it's my favorite day to do work on Christmas and holidays when everyone else is lazing around 
Okay, I, unfortunately, I couldn't find the picture with the egg salad sandwich. I did find a very similar picture of me with mm. my waifu pillow that well. just is missing the sandwich. But let me read you. Yeah, the, maybe this. she ate it. It's, it <laughs> yeah. um, I, I do have, because unfortunately, the post I made was on an old website where all the images are broken. But I still have the mm-hmm. text from it. It says, in line with the otaku tradition of sharing a nice Valentine's Day confection with your waifu, here you can see myself and waifu Uesugi Kenshin munching down on my special (laughs) God's Left Nut sandwich. It's got turkey, ham, and roast beef between an egg salad spread made from mayonnaise, mustard, Texas peat hot sauce, one boiled egg, salt, pepper, and garlic, all on two gigantic whole wheat sandwich bread slices. Damn good eaten. So a happy Valentine's Day to everyone, whether you're celebrating it with your waifu or all alone, watching people get senselessly murdered out of spite. Because I'd also written a post mm, that day mm. about, um, because Valentine's Day is named after a massacre. Like, it's it's from the St. Saint, the Saint Valentine's Day. I thought he drew the, sl- the snakes out of Ireland or something. Isn't that... Uh, that was well, here, let me let me read you this. Let me read oh, you the Saint intro. Patrick, that's right. Whoops. I I made a I, I made a post called Saint Valentine's Day and Five <laughs> Senseless <laughs> Anime Murders. It says you've heard it before. No one's really mm-hmm. sure about the origins of Saint Valentine's Day, and historians have only found traces of various stories wherein someone named Saint Valentine always gets horribly murdered by the end, and your candy hearts are stained red with this blood. Mm. Uh, so then I made a Whoa. video about like my top five anime massacre scenes, and that was my Valentine's Day post. <laughs> Word. But, uh, the otaku audience would appreciate that, I think. Oh yeah, Do you go check it out if you if you want to read posts I wrote almost a decade ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, Valentine's well, Day is a, is a is an okay. It's an okay boy. I'm I mean I'm the kind of cuck who will buy like lots of shit for a woman anyways. So <laughs> yeah, I, what I like you know that's things. the thing. Oh. I actually hate the violence that is imposed upon me by society of forcing me to buy gifts. You should have yeah. seen me buying gifts this Christmas. Oh my god, it was fucking agony. I hate spending money on these fucking assholes. Like the people in my life who know that I care about them, they know that I care about them. I don't right. want to be fucking tricked into I, buying. I, I, I just gifts. love how you described like the cultural obligation to give gifts as violence who are you stefan Molyneux? <laughs> i know right actually I know, right. It's, like, it's, it's i'm it, exaggerating but still interesting point you bring up there nate because mm. like um i think one of the things i like about holidays is that and i think this is what a lot of people like about it is it gives you an excuse to give people presents because most people are not thoughtful like yeah, most people true. will not buy their their friends and family shit and like and in many ways I do think the holiday is part of the problem because it gives you an excuse to not be thoughtful. It's like, well, right. I'll buy mm. something for him on Christmas, but like every other right. day of the year you never think about that person. But like sometimes you meet those people, those legitimately great people who just like buy you things because they saw it and thought you would like it Life. and you're like, what Far are you? the best gifts some kind were spontaneous of, and at yeah, some point randomly in the right. year? Spontaneity like, oh. and thoughtfulness are the cornerstones of any good gift, obviously. Oh, man. Gift, well, gifts it, like elevator s- sex are best when they're spontaneous. I <laughs> think that, exactly. Oh! True. I think the funny thing about holidays is, like, because I love giving people, yeah, those kind of spontaneous gifts, if it's, like, the mm-hmm. right one, which is very right, rare. Right. But on holidays, because it is so mechanical that, like, you get somebody a gift, I'm, I usually just, like, literally give people exactly what, like, like, like uh, I'll go shop for it with them. You know, like I don't right. care if it's a surprise. Yeah, I'm like, I, like I'm gonna spend a hundred plus dollars on you for for Christmas. It might as well be something you really want. Right. You know, so like let's yeah. go like, make I, sure it's something good. You the know? obligation does make it much more difficult and less personal and just less special. Yeah, right. exactly. Guys, like, like I the- bought. I've got, this was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. I had to buy my sister's boyfriend a gift. And I bought him some fucking mustache wax. I've never met the man. I know nothing of this man. Did and I had to buy him a. Cr- I, I, I had to buy him a fucking Christmas gift. That feels like dirty. I feel gross that I had to do that. Like something has gone wrong along this system that forces me to buy someone who I have no fucking connection to whatsoever a yeah. goddamn Christmas gift. You something have just not is done wrong. It. You got. You got. I, I, you got I, felt the Christmas card. I, I was bullied. <laughs> I developed a, an amazing technique for gift giving, and I think mm. I think a bunch of you have been given this gift from me as well, and you will continue to be done so. In fact, you'll probably get this on the twenty sixth because a couple of you I'm going to be meeting uh, mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. after Christmas. Is it dinner? It's dinner. Right. My my gift is oh, yeah. always yeah. I will buy you food because like I love eating out with people I love buying people food I will just cover everyone's checks on Christmas and that's my gift you know that is an amazing yeah you gave me that for my birthday at Waffle yeah. House fucking yeah. a great you yeah. know 
and uh, I, I love I love just buying people food and being like, there you go. And then, uh, but that's I, not a very thoughtful gift, though. I mean, it's it, not it's fine thoughtful, but it's like not... everyone mm-hmm. will be happy with it. Like, and, exactly. and it's that's very true. me. Like, it's something that comes right. from my it's personality. You know, that's my problem with most holidays is that they're so cookie cutter. I don't want to like. Yeah. I just don't feel like I'm being creative, and it just feels stupid. I Dude. feel like. The best thing that ever happened to, to Christmas for me as an adult, because like as a kid we had got game consoles every year, you know whatever, and it was like video games and anime DVDs, whatever. We're old now, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. The best thing that ever happened is that my dad, because he it used to be my dad would always ask us like, "What do you want for Christmas?" All that shit. And then when mm-hmm. we went back to doing traditional Christmas, he was like, "I'm not asking anybody what they want anymore. I'm just gonna buy you guys shit. Like I am just gonna show up with a bunch of shit that none of you know what it is, and." Weirdly enough, my dad is amazing at giving gifts. My dad is the one responsible for my robe. My dad's the one responsible hmm. for my hmm. giant coat the, that's in the Fat and Dangerous video. The iconic coat, the iconic robe. Indeed. Yes, the he's, iconic he's responsible robe. for buying me, like, silk pajamas and, like, uh, and uh, slippers to wear around the house, which I didn't used to do, but after he bought them for me, I realized I loved them. So, like, a lot of my image has been crafted by Christmas gifts my dad has given me. Because he yeah. just, he knows how to find stuff that he knows I will wear. And I, I look know, at it and I go, oh, fuck, you're a genius. That's, now, that's granted, the one problem. Granted, that's only on. half of the stuff. The other half is, like, he tried to buy me, like, home brewing kit. That was a total waste of money. Um, mm-hmm. He bought me a rice maker. I ended up giving to Shades. Like, it doesn't always work, but, you know. Sure. But it's a net positive, yeah. clearly. Right. Clearly. Yeah, and when you like, add- that is absolutely the downside of a, of a cutthroat capitalist family like mine is, where, yeah. like, we – everyone – like uh, my, my dad specifically, I uh, sorry, dad, but I blame you for this. He like he will just ask me, just tell me what you want, I'll buy it. And so what he doesn't realize he's doing there is he's putting literally all the work on me to like right. figure out exactly right. what to buy. Yeah. And like, because you're gonna go, I, fucking... I consider a good gift is to do the work for, show you care, go out and get me something. Mm-hmm. Like put in the, le- it's, right. it's your job to do this. What we and, used to uh, do is my dad yeah, would like give it. us, a, like it. my dad would always tell us like. Uh, you have five hundred dollars for Christmas, mm-hmm. so like you know, figure right, out what right. you want, but go up to five hundred dollars. And so I would sit there for like an entire day. Granted, I love doing this, but I would sit there on like mm-hmm. Amazon all day, like crunching numbers, like trying to figure out like what mm-hmm. combination of things that I most want will equate to five hundred dollars. I, I feel a little hypocritical on it because I, in some ways, like you're saying, like it is good. Like I can get exactly the things I want doing it, but like there is a bit of magic. That's lost in the shuffle yeah. there. It's just like better when it's fucking spontaneous. Now, stop me if I've said this story on the BZB before, but it's the best thing that was ever given to me, and uh, it was how I got my computer, the one that, for, for editing. Basically, I was mm. beginning my video YouTubing career, and the first step was to buy a microphone. So I got all the shit, got the interface, and I plugged it into my computer at the time, and it didn't work. There was, like, a driver issue. Now, I could have, like, you know, gone downstairs to record it in the computer in the living room, but, like, oh, I'm way too much of a teenager for that shit. I don't want to record when mm-hmm. everyone's around. I would, I would die. So I spent a straight week trying to figure out how to fix the drivers, and there was finally the nuclear option one night. I'm like, all right, I'm going to push this nuclear option and see if it fries my computer or fixes the problem. Woke up the next day, fried my computer. So I'm like, ah. so I walk downstairs all like just defeated, just sort of like in, in, in a serenity, like a Jesse level of, of defeat at this point, right? Okay, and I walk downstairs okay. and my dad's in the kitchen and I'm in the kitchen and I tell my dad what's been going on, you know, how like my entire, my entire week has just been like go to work, you know, do the business, the, the window cleaning business with my dad, come home, mm-hmm. try to fix the, the microphone problem, no progress, right? And my dad, who had just 30 minutes prior looked over the the finances for our business the, the, the for the previous month and it was like mm-hmm. the biggest windfall profit month our business had ever had right super in the black so he's like on fire right now with excitement about the money mm-hmm. and i come down and talk about this and he goes let's buy you a new computer and i was just like oh <laughs> it was super cool. Incredible. So like literally we bad. packed up and like like a lot my dad is not very spontaneous. Like he's very like, you know, oh we're gonna go somewhere today, like there's gonna be a fucking project to get ready to go, right? Everything has gotta be planned. So he never does anything this all of, all at once. And we got a new computer and just like within three hours I had a new computer and it was just 
Dude, and then literally that's, that that's evening, great. he was like looking at more finances, and it turns out it actually wasn't all that good after all. So I was just in the perfect Lol. fucking window, the perfect fucking but window dude, to get I, a I know, new computer. I know, I've told this before, but that just reminds me of uh, of uh, like me and my brother like saved up all our pennies and allowance for like a year so that we could buy a PlayStation One, and we buy like that in a couple games. Uh, and then just on the way home, my dad's like, "You guys need a TV. Let's get you a TV too." And he just bought us a TV, and I was just that was just such a hell yeah, such a wonderful thing to do. Yeah. It was great. It touches me to this fucking day. I love that TV. I literally love that TV. Uh, because it's such what, other, great memory. what other holidays have we not talked about yet? April Fool's. April Fool's Day, the piece of shit, terrible holiday. Didn't we, that's didn't the we worst have one. a discussion about April Fool's at some point? I think we did. Because I, I know shit. Hippo really I, I like am, um, was on a podcast. Fools. The same yeah, way as Hippo is with Valentine's, I'm very fucking against people being against April Fool's. People are being such hipsters, being like, oh, it's not funny, but shut up. It's a great holiday. It's a great fucking it's, holiday. It's, it's just overused. You to be dumb. It's, it's abused. People... It's not a great holiday, but I don't like complaining about it. I yeah, just like ignoring it. No, no, it should be. April Fool's Day. This is so stupid. I just now, okay. mean. I've also heard the origin of April Fool's Day. It might be fake. It might be fake, but I've heard it. Who who knows the origin of April Fool's Day? No one. Uh, okay, so uh, Mr. Oh. April uh, is a fool, <laughs> and they called him that. So originally, at some point, hundreds of years ago or whatnot, the beginning of the year was April the first. Like that was New Year's. Was April. And so, okay. at some point, they changed it. I don't know why. And so, there would be a lot of people on April 1st who forgot about that, being like, Hey, Happy New Year! To which they'd be like, Ugh, you April fool! You have no oh, idea! Okay. You don't remember? And they were like, oh shit, I'm an April fool. And so, <laughs> I guess it just became... I, I really a... want this to be a true story. I <laughs> yeah, I like it. I'm an April fool. Um... I, I, I realize that that makes a lot of sense because that's the beginning of spring, kind of. Yeah. And then yeah. that means the year is in line with the seasons, and I like that's that a lot. That's how uh, Japanese school mm -hmm. works, right? Like, they, they their year starts yeah, in Yeah, uh, I think so. Spring. I think so. I thought um, the origin was uh, was like the, the Ninja Turtles were hanging out uh, in their sex dungeon, and, God, and April please. falls in, and she's like, hey, 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 you April fool, uh, took my turtle cock. You know, uh, yeah. something that like that. That kind of lines. thing, yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, I like April Fools a whole lot because... It, I think that that was the – it used to be anyway. That, that was the day the internet got creative. Like, yes. Because everyone yes. would – it wasn't just that people did something interesting, but, like, it was always something way different from what you're used to. Like, right. the, best, the best was the webcomic XKCD, um, which is a stick figure comic that was really popular in the late 2000s. And um, every – April Fool's, because he was, like, a programmer, and he would, like, completely mm. redesign the site into, like, some kind of I I elaborate game. Like, some kind of weird, like yeah. – it'd either be, like, a text adventure or, like, just some kind of crazy ruse. And, like right. – Right. If it's done well, it's that. great. Yeah, a lot of the internet would turn into that. And, like, there were annoying parts, like, for instance, don't try to download any torrents that day because it's all going to be oh, weird yeah. shit, you know? Yeah. Um, but sometimes it would be hilarious. Like, people would put out troll subs for every new anime. that Because April 1st is, like, the first day of the new season for anime. So there's mm -hmm. always going to be some shows that come out, like, the first episodes that day. And people would always make troll subs for them. Probably still do. And it's fucking hilarious. But, um... I remember, like, the first time I watched Queen's Blade episode one was a uh, April yeah. Fool's troll sub. But, like, <laughs> yeah, like, websites would just get crazy. And, like, there's a, there's so much stuff that c none of that can be done anymore because too many people make their money online and you can't change it right, that severely. Because, yeah. like, YouTube, the, the, with the year when Rick Rolling really caught on, YouTube made it so every link on the front page took you to R Rick Roll. That's right. Like that's right, 2009 right. or so. Every link. And, like, that was fucking epic as, like, a gag. But, like, YouTube could never do that now because it would ruin people's, like, careers. You know? Like, people would have, like, like m fucking thousands of dollars just, like, sapped away because they didn't get the click through that day. You know? And, like, it's yep. just – it's just uh, – it's sad to think – that this is just one more victim of, like, the internet's homogeneity, yeah. you know, uh, is, like... I I never liked, um, the, the way the, the meta of April Fool's has shifted. Like, it did. It used to be very creative. Yeah. And it's not so much... I mean, it is also that th you, people and websites, they can't do that now because of money. But, like, creators and stuff, they used to have, like, creative things yeah. that they right, did. Right, yeah. And... You didn't always expect everybody to do it because it was like, you know, not everybody. It wasn't that huge. But now it's like 
if you don't make an April Fool's video, that's that's the big twist. Yeah. Like, if you uh, make yeah. something that isn't yeah. lazy and isn't yeah. stupid and isn't... I was oh, um, yeah. booting you up old memories of... Then you're actually... I was remembering people. back when I was on Newgrounds a lot, because, like, every year there was, like, uh, they had, like, the McDonald's parody for April Fool's. They had Numa Grounds, uh, Pooh Grounds, China Grounds, Kevin Bacon Day. But I remember 2011 was when Tom Fulp announced on the site, guys, we always go too far with our April Fool's. They're too obvious. This one is very... Very, very subtle. And I remember thinking, like, wait, what was the parody? Because I remember, like, people swarming the boards trying to figure it out. So I looked it up just now. There was no joke. That was the joke. That nothing was Got changed. Him. Fuck. Ha -ha. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, I, I love doing April Fool's videos because I try to think, like, I don't just want it to be a fake video. I want there to be some point behind it. Like, the year where I did the Attack on Titan review, and it yeah, was, was just, fantastic. like, all the most right, generic right. ideas of reviews imaginable. And don't I, forget, I love um, when people do stuff like that, because I just, I want to be kept on my toes. You know, like, I want to, every once in a while, something shakes it up. And, like, because it's April Fool's Day, like, it just gives everybody, gives like, a little bit of an in. Like, when right, Rick exactly. and Morty came out, and, like, they the new season of Rick and Morty, they just, like, ran the debut episode all night long on April Fool's. And, like... It, it's cool. such a weird, shocking thing to do, but because it was April Fool's, people are, like, accepting it because right, that, exactly. we know that's Remember, what uh, the day is. Don't forget know? the legendary Zero Punctuation review of Duke Nukem Forever back when we oh, thought yeah. that game would never exist. Like, the joke of that video wouldn't have worked nearly as well if there hadn't been a holiday for it. It's the same right. way as, you know, National Brownie Day is just an excuse for everyone to have a brownie. It's an in, right? It's always yeah. an excuse. And comedy, you know, the, like, relies on setups, so April Fool's Day provides a very unique once a year setup that certain jokes need to survive but but there's also what about the fact that like every april fool's day everyone's like okay what's it going to be this time so like there's an inherent like anticipation yeah, there's that always, kind of there's always curdles a, the joke there's always a challenge I mean, right you always have to the, be the way i see it to do it the way i okay. see it you got to look at april fools like this if you are going to post something on april fools day make it a joke if you have something you need to post that day just save it for April second. Like, like, like yeah. that. That day should just be like weird joke content. And I think that because there's a lot of people who get mad, like all, oh, like oh, it's all misdirects. I just want my normal content. And I'm like, dude, like people who are putting out normal content on that day. I think are like muddying it. Like it should just be weird shit all day. I, and but then, listen, like, listen to this fucking know. tyranny I, I, that I we're think, allowing it if, to fucking take over I the internet. I want for it a day. to take over. I want. Yeah, I, I know, want right? there to be a time where everyone is just forced to experience weird <laughs> shit all day. Exactly. Yeah. Like, it's I want really the world to stop well, making sense thing. for yeah, people. Yeah, it's not really necessarily to like trick people. It's not really necessarily there to trick people. Although that's a sweet bonus. It's really just an excuse to be a fucky. All right. Okay. And give give what yeah. I mean, it's not. Oh, there's multiple things I was going to say. Mm -hmm. One, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the time, it's not that weird. It's just sort of bad. It's oh, just yeah. sort of bad. A lot of made. It's shit. Sure, and, sure. Yeah. And it just makes me feel upset that they, <laughs> that they even spent any seconds right. making this terrible thing. I mean, the yeah, same thing yeah. happens with all the holidays, though. Like, there's exactly. always going to be the channels who are like, last minute, oh, I got to have something for this holiday. Let me throw some bullshit yeah. up, and they'll make like a 40 second, you know. Uh, blah, 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 April Fool, yeah, and you're like, yeah. I knew it was an April Fool's video because it was 40 seconds long, and it came out on April 1st. Like, you, what is the joke here? You oh, know. Yeah. But like, well, if you're gonna go all here, out with it, then it's worthwhile. What What I would say is that I think it could be. If you're going to post on April Fools, you should at least try to make it funny, even if it's short yeah. and whatever. But I don't think you shouldn't post a real thing. But you, if you if you are going to post a real video, it should be the most bombastically incredible oh, video yeah. you've ever made. Yeah, definitely. And like like That'd be cool. like two hours long, like a feature length film on YouTube, just so that people can be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> or or you should you should announce something bombastically unrealistic on April first, and then making actually people do think it. that it's a joke yeah. for months, and then actually that's, do that's it. That's actually idea. a good, like, that's a clever, funny thing to do, yeah. if you can pull yeah, that you, off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It should be a day of funny, clever videos, and, like, personally, I put 
more effort into my April Fool's videos than probably any other holiday videos I've done. Because every time yeah. I do try to jump on holiday bandwagon, it's always last minute. Because I'm not passionate yeah. about the holidays. I don't give a fuck mm -hmm. about uh, ha Halloween. Like Six any, I've Swibbins made like Day. maybe one or two <laughs> Halloween videos, and it's always like super last minute, you know. Yeah, and it just yeah. sounds it. It's just like, all right, let's drag out the five horror anime that exist and talk about those again. Oh, uh -huh. somebody's gonna write about Junji Ito. Big fucking surprise, because there's nothing else to like tie Halloween to anime because there's like no horror anime out there you know and like we're all going to be tired and rote if we keep doing the same thing every halloween or every christmas every what christmas is, going to be you know we're, we're past that point well yeah we food. are but like mm -hmm. if people keep doing it it, it's, it's yeah, like yeah. you are officially contributing to rote bullshit but sure, sure. april fool's day the floodgates are open for you to do literally anything and like you can really mix it up and like show people how you can be creative outside of your format you know and I think that's what makes it cool. Well, Hippo, okay. you should like uh, celebrate St. Patrick's Day on April Fools. That's what you should do. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. Let's. Uh, I think we've touched uh, quite what? a few holidays I, here. Uh, yeah, I Gabe? just want to say one last yeah, thing. Yeah. I just realized that is quite accurate for like people like 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 if you have instead of making something that's just bad or like uh, shitty uh, as a joke, mm -hmm. you could just show them some other aspect of. The stuff you do, like you could, you could post a rap on the main channel, Digi, or something. Yeah, something like I suppose so. That to show to like a, as an excuse, like it's always an excuse, right. an excuse to show your main people something that else that you do very well. Yeah, it's that's just, actually oh a great idea. That, wow, that is yeah. a good. That idea. might be what I do on April Fool's next year. Is mm. like just post one of my rap, like some like really fucking weird rap music video, you know, with me. Like, yeah. although I I don't know if that's what happened. When Bro Science made his rap video, I don't know if that was on April Fools or not, but that did not get received well. But uh, that's unrelated. Hmm. Well, it's more of an excuse than just any other day, I guess. But then people are gonna think that like, oh yeah, this is a joke. Like, it, oh, it's it's shit. Uh, agree. Well, if they like it. <laughs> I, but it, it and, changes the way they're gonna perceive I mean, it. Okay, but but whatever. Half, to, half the comments on all my raps up. are always like, oh my god, he can actually rap. Like they always expect mm -hmm. it to be a joke. You know? Yeah. 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 Okay, guys. Good talk. Let's go to questions. All Unless right. anyone has... Oh, yeah. No, I got we're, a we're great, done. Right, done. great, extremely related question from the uh, from the okay. PCP fan Discord, which you have access to if you're a patron. Mm -hmm. Procrastinators patron lounge. Patreon.com slash the procrastinators. We usually answer questions from there. Uh, mm. Vulture asks, what's your guys' New Year's resolutions? Didn't we answer that literally every time for the last like six months or something? Four K. Did we? Uh, I I don't I think so. 4K. I, can, I can never remember. Fucking four K. Hundred and twenty hertz. Uh, uh, well, I haven't I, been on. If we have, uh, I'm I'm undecided if my New Year's resolution should be like something I realistically know I'm going to do or something I like hope to do. I think that's the yeah. more responsible one. Is like like to set your goal high. So that you have to like really work to reach it. Um, mm. I've already made my New Year's resolution, yeah. and it's not a New Year's resolution because I made it earlier, so I don't have one. Oh. Good, fair enough. Well, that, my, that's the smartest thing to do. My New Year's resolution is to make uh, six figures this year. Oh, that's a good one. It's a yeah. good one. I've had um, a lot of money-based ones in the in the last few years. I guess my just yeah my year resolution is to uh, 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 go full time with the shit. So we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Tom, do you have any New Year's resolutions you want to talk about? Um, I haven't really put too much thought into it. I was thinking probably I'm just gonna make this the year that I actually get in shape. I know that's super fucking basic, but I'm baby gonna be steps though. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm gonna be thirty. I feel like I can't go into my thirties being fat. So fuck hmm. that shit. You know, it's amazing how much you can transform yourself physically over the span of just one year if you're if you're you know dedicated to. Wait, it so Tom, Tom, are you going to be the first thirty year old in the PCP? Is that yeah? It's going to be older a... than Ben, right? A little bit. Who? Uh, I think Ben's I ben will be actually. in April. Ben will be thirty. Oh I believe. well, I'm November, so. Oh, oh, Ben will be wow. first. Once ben we be pass the ben 30 mark, we can never go back, guys. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're, we're getting old. We'll be in there. We'll be <laughs> in there. Soon, I mean, I have, I have to do something impressive when I to hit 30 because I'm going to have a crisis. <laughs> I'm going to have yeah. a mental yeah. crisis, and I might just kill myself. It's very possible. It's, it's good that you're anticipating, though. It'll give you some runway to try to steer, uh, <laughs> steer yeah. it correctly. I need something really good to happen before November 8th and I turn 30. Otherwise, I'm just going to be like, well, my whole life has just been a complete joke yeah 
Just don't yeah. kill yourself yeah. on your birthday or the next day, as those are also my dad and girlfriend's birthdays. So mm-hmm. it would be the a real it would be a real downer <laughs> if you kill yourself. I'll, I'll, like, I'll give you a real I'll inconvenience give you, if you kill yourself. Give me like a two day buffer. lead to celebrate my my, my family's <laughs> I'm, birthdays. I'm glad I'm glad that your your girlfriend's uh, comfort for their birthday is more important to you than my actual death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, die it's on like the tenth, so I can grieve you, not on someone's <laughs> okay. birthday. You okay. know, like if I'm gonna be in in mourning, I'd rather it not ruin someone else's birthday. You know, right. so just uh, let me know. I'm Incredible. gonna make sure you don't die. Uh, all right, uh, from. I can't decide. My New Year's resolution is to not oh, yeah. be skipped over when people do questions. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> my, I have a really boring one. <laughs> that, no, no, like, just that's gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> uh, my resolution is really just. Uh, Mm-hmm. Not eat all really delicious, unhealthy food all the time just because it's offered to me because it's mm. only because it's offered to me. If I'm just like alone with my own devices, as I was uh, in Digi's house where you had to eat your own food, I just like, you know, as long as I could walk to the store, I would just eat healthy food and I feel better in the body. But, you know, if someone's offering me chimichangas, I can't, I can't pass them up. So, yeah, pretty boring resolution. All right. Uh, instead hmm. of a resolution, I have a New Year's resolve because it sounds cool. Okay. okay. Uh, my New Year's resolve is to have a video on Hypocrite every single week until the end of the year, oh, shit. and I want them to be recorded and done by uh, June. That's a. That's, so I want. I want to, some shit. I, I want to do the to do entire right year of content in yeah. half a year. That's my. That's goal. the thing. Like so Great many of us point. have tried to do. Like said we were gonna do. I, I didn't have succeeded at this, by the way. I have made this. Um, not not the whole year like that, but I have mm-hmm. successfully worked months ahead of myself, and I know it's doable, especially at one video a week. I think you can do it, because this man put out a video almost every day for a month. No, you did do a whole a whole month. Yeah, every he did. Day. Yeah. He did. And then man. a second yeah. month, almost every day, with the Kirby month. Well. So, I wouldn't call it almost for the every first day. Well, half. It, it was, was another, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, anyways, um, the next question. This one I just want to read because it's funny. Drum mm. asks, "If you have siblings, who is your parents' favorite son?" Also for Nate, where did your parents go wrong with Ben? <laughs> <laughs> where did they fuck uh, up? Nate? <laughs> um, it was right at the start. Uh, <laughs> when I don't, he just he just went down when he dark, came out. He's like, uh, yeah, for my for my uh, One Piece reading c- comrades, you'll know that I am the uh, Rosinante and Ben is the evil Doflamingo. Only reverse the Chad uh, virgin roles between the two, and you just got all the worst stuff was Ben, and all the great stuff was me. <laughs> that's 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 all I've got to say about it, yeah. It was pure genetics. All right, uh, here's one from the gobs. What's your opinion <laughs> on snow? I'm curious about oh, this. Really cool. Mine has changed a lot. I like Jon Snow. I, I, very I'm with much. I'm with Jesse from Pokemon in saying snow, snow. I love it so. That's uh yeah. Well, let me tell you that. something. Remember that one? Snow I sucks that. dick. Remember You're when Jesse retarded. had to eat snow? Remember when Jesse was poor in that Pokemon episode and yeah. she fantasized about when she was a kid they would eat like snow sandwiches and like snow dessert and like snow. Lo- I like, remember she was, snow, she snow sandwiches snow. and bread exactly. allowance. <laughs> J- J- Jesse should do a remake of that song or a remix. Yeah. No, you gotta have the a Kendrick, cover, the cover. Kendrick Lamar. Oh, never mind. Anyway, so <laughs> it's, it. it's 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 snowing balls outside right now. Mm. Um, I'm living in a Sick. part. Apparently, I live in like the exact like city in America that gets the most snow. Like really? that is that is this area is like the shit the shit storm part of the world. That's and, a look. Um, That's a look. And I gotta say, it's interesting because. Back where I'm from, the amount of, like, a couple inches of snow in Virginia Beach would shut the whole city down. And it was a fun, Mm. it was great. Because, like, we'd all go out and play in the snow. Because it's so rare. When you only see it once or twice a year, you're, like, excited about it. And you're like, oh, we can make snowballs and snowmen. And, like, uh, Radcon 2 happened with a a huge snowfall. And we made made the fucking Hamboy Winter War. I wasn't involved in that. But you you guys made a great fucking war. You you were the victim. (laughs) Um, We we had some fun, like, uh, vlogs in the snow. It's a great time. And, like, the fact that it shuts down the whole city makes you kind of just, you know, everybody just kind of is at home, like, with your family and stuff, and and yeah. you're hanging out and having a yeah. good time. Well, up here in the north, nothing shuts down, and it yep. snows constantly. Yep. Like, the amount of snow that we would have gotten once or twice a year in Virginia Beach, we get almost every day uh, since December. Like, there has only <laughs> been, like, three days in December where I saw grass. 
Like, it has been snowing consistently. And it stays for a long time because it's so cold that it wouldn't melt, you know? So, like, it took, like, almost a whole week for our last major snowfall to melt, and now it's snowing again. So, like, there's just always snow, and it really, like... If changes your lifestyle in some ways when it's that oh, constant. Yeah. Where like For sure. every time you want to use the car, you gotta clean off the car. And like if That's you want to leave one. the house, you need to be wearing snow boots because like your shoes will just get immediately soaked. You know. So it's mm-hmm. like, and you're gonna have to leave the house because it snows every fucking day. Like you can't just be like, <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna go out for a couple of days. It's like no, you're gonna be inside for three months unless you're like gonna clean off your car every time and put on snow boots. And uh, you know, today I uh, almost wrecked my car. Um, People have did been, you skid? Did you do a swerve? Oh, I did a big swerve. Ev- mm, everyone, mm. all of my fans have been constant. All my fans from the north have been constantly <laughs> nagging me to get winter tires. They're like, "Dude, you're gonna die. Get winter tires, or you'll die." <laughs> and I'm like, "Eh, Not that much snow. I'm only gonna live here for one winter. I don't want to spend that like a hundred, however much money it costs for winter tires. Couple hundred, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, for one winter." But then today was one of those insidious days where it was like, at first it was raining, but it was like an icy rain, you know? Oh, yeah, so yeah. we go out and it's fine, but by the time we're coming back home, now the ground is all icy and it's starting to turn into snow and everything's kind of shit. And I, of course, try to be slick. Like, I have to make a left turn into my neighborhood, and there's oh, like... The, the, the last thing you should try you to do is be, be slick. slick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no. This is, I made a huge mistake because there's a car coming from the other direction, and I have to make a left turn into my neighborhood and I'm like all right if I go fast I can beat that guy you know but, like the mm-hmm. the rational thought would have been come to a complete stop and let him pass and then go but I'm like yeah, no if I'm fast I can beat that guy so I try to go cuz this is what I normally do you know and so I try to go fast and I immediately swerve all the way off into the bushes um like right next to the sign for my neighborhood almost hit a could have hit a brick wall could have hit a brick wall. Could have gotten hit by that guy's car very easily. We were extremely lucky that all I knocked over was, like, this wooden post that was in the ground that nobody cares about. And so, like, you know, I've got a little scratches on my car. I got out of there just fine. But I was like, man, this was lucky. And uh, this is yeah, clearly a warning to go get winter tires, you know. And the, the, the winter has only just begun. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. You're going to. You're going to go all the way through March like this. So it's I'm, I'm yeah, sure. and I, I'm just hoping, yeah. like, because I'm trying to drive to fucking Boston on Christmas Day, and, like, oh, I don't ooh. know what the snow is going to be like that day. So there's, you should just take Amtrak chance, to Boston, dude. There is not a terrible idea. There is some you get, chance I You can take I the train all the way to, to South Station. I don't even know where a train is or how long that would be, but I could look well, into it because mm-hmm. there's a chance I won't be able to go to Boston if I look outside and there's a fucking blizzard that day, and I'm like, well... I'm not driving in that, you know. Sure, sure. Um, but we'll see what Could be an option. Uh, hey, uh, so so I, I'm sure Tom has had a similar experience as you grew up in the same part of the country. Uh, uh, yep, had dealt with a lot of snow growing up. Uh, it was it kind sucks. of a hassle. It's the worst. But, so uh, while I hate the cold, I hate cold temperatures more than anything in the world. They are paralyzing. They are the, they are and they are counter to life. Uh, they are the antithesis of everything that I wish for in this world. Uh, I do love hanging out in snow and then coming inside and being cozy, having escaped yeah. the wintry day. You, know, you know what I like doing? I like skipping that whole first part and just being cozy. No, because you, you got to you gotta suffer so you can feel no, the joy no, of being no. inside no, no. again. I, I, You're just I, a masochist. I, I You're me. a masochist. This is <laughs> no, the same person no, who grinded real. the no, ultimate no. weapon in Kingdom he, Hearts 2. You just like pain. <laughs> I do, I do. Here, 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 like, I agree with Nate on this mm-hmm. in that, um, like, uh, it snowed once a few days ago, mm-hmm. and uh, it, it the rain brushed it away immediately afterwards. So it's like I, I gotta get out there. I gotta make something. Mm-hmm. I gotta make a little snowman, and um, it's cold and you know and all that. And I, I I roll up a ball, and I roll it so that all the snow in the garden is in the snowball, <laughs> and it's very big and nice. very heavy. And I fall over it, and it, I I drop it, and I build it back up, and I fall over <laughs> it, and it's like I was so like. My coat was like kind of warm, like the, the the fact that I was moving so much and lifting big lumps of snow, all heavy, it was like getting getting sweaty, and it, it was great. And then I and then I fell on on the snow, and I just 
I was just warm and cold at the same time, and it feels so good to exert yourself yeah, uh, to a ridiculous extent and then come in and, and just be like... And then you pull off your winter ah. clothes and you're free and it's warm and it's yeah. glorious. Yeah, you, you, you get to co cool down and warm up at the same time. Yeah, your hands yeah. need to, to warm up, but your body needs to cool down. Mm -hmm. It's like weird and you don't get that it's very peak. often. So it's, it's, that is my yeah. aesthetic. I love being yeah. inside on a, in a warm, by a fire is preferable, with a snowy outside and specifically snowing is 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 peak decadence it's oh peak man aesthetic. you know the best the best temperature <laughs> improvement in my life because like as a kid i'd go out into the snow and within you know two seconds my ears are dying of cold i don't right, know why yep, my yep. ears are just really sensitive to cold and like uh, if I put on earmuffs or, or a hat or whatnot, it would just get way too sweaty and then get cold. But when I grew my hair out when I was 13, as it remains, just the tiniest little increment of hair draped over the ears completely warms them. And I've never had that issue since. And it's really cool. It's like, yeah, everyone should grow their hair out. That's why I, uh, that's why okay. I grow my hair and beard out during the summertime. My hair's I mean, not, not curly enough to do that. Either. I'll just wear earmuffs. All right, uh, question from up. Jolly Bones. What is the worst type of Christmas gift? Mm. One that I had to work really hard to get so my parent like, arranged and my parents would just, like, pay for, or, or anyone would, like, pay. Like, one I had to work really hard so someone else could, like, buy for me, especially if it's not that expensive. Like, if I had to work hard, then I'm getting, like, what nothing do you mean out by, of this. Describe what would be a hard work for a okay, Christmas like, gift. Okay, like, here's one. I had to arrange, like, d the delivery location, uh, like, what, I had to find... Like, all the logistics about how to buy this, like, uh, uh, it was like a portable heater or something, like, when I lived in my last apartment, that my parents willingly bought for me. But, like, I had to do all the work to, to arrange everything, and it, it took me, like, days of work to, like, get everything. Just It was just, like, a weird situation happening. But, like, I had to put in a lot of work, and all they did was, like, just send a check afterward. And it's like, this, this was a gift, and yet I worked so hard to make it happen I, I hate doing that. I really yeah, hate that. Gifts that are burdens in disguise. Exactly, exactly. I, mm. I would rather just not I, have to deal with it. I think it. you should uh, never buy someone a gift under the assumption that they are going to, like, use, use it. it. Like, because when my sure. dad, as I was discussing before, he got me, like, all those, like, the robe, the slippers, the pajamas, and, and, and also a home brewing kit. And of those, mm, the robe mm. and slippers ended up being something I used. And so he was lucky and he was correct there. But, like, the silk pajamas, eh, like, they're not really <laughs> comfortable. They're kind of weird to wear around. Um, and then the brewing kit was, like, just so... Okay, better answer. Gifts that the person giving it to you doesn't understand themselves. Because he okay, bought me this okay. home brewing kit thinking this would just be like, yeah, you're going to make your own beer. But, like... The the shit is super complicated. Like you need to have like a fucking chilled room to store this shit in. You know, like you yeah. gotta have tons of stuff. Like I mean, that, it doesn't uh, come with barley and like hops. It's just like a big jug and a bunch and, of and tubes. Plus, you know, by buying that, he's 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 his gift to you is fucking homework. homework. Right. And yeah. it's like, wow, thanks for like this I mean, extra. I mean, it could have been cool. It probably would be really cool if you like did it. I but get why I hate he, being given a burden. Yeah, uh, I I get uh -huh. why he would think I'd be into that because I love alcohol and I like you know like homemade yeah. kind of stuff but like i'm also lazy as shit and like this mm -hmm. stuff was really complicated that would be a good and gift if you expressed interest in exactly doing it exactly if i had ever exactly. said like i want to make my own alcohol great but like he just bought that for me and the thing is that one of the parts was like kind of broken um and we didn't figure mm -hmm. that out until like a couple days later i thrashed the box that night because uh, some dramatic stuff happened that Christmas where one of our okay. friends got kicked out of our group of friends and I was uh -huh. shit-faced drunk and not handling it. So I just tore up this box because it was just a big box I could <laughs> let out my rage on. So there was no way to send it back. So it's like a $150 brewing kit that never got used. And uh, I was just like, I, I feel bad, but at the same time, why the fuck did you buy me this? Like, you know... Like, I'm sorry I tore up the box so we can't send it back, but this you should have had the foresight to know that rather than buying me a home brewing kit, you should have just bought me $150 worth of beer, you know? Yeah. <laughs> mm. I would have loved yeah. that. <laughs> In this case, for sure. I, need I don't think I have any answers that can top that, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I hate gift cards. They're, it's categorically worse than yeah. cash. Yeah, I like yeah. Just, yeah. just, just give me cash. It's, it's you, you better. Just, yeah. It's more useful. 
Like, I, I get the fact that, like, people want gift cards because, like, they thought of you, like, oh, I know you like this, so it, it feels yeah. more personal than cash, but it's just, it's less useful. There's always going to hey, be a situation I, I, where I could use 10 bucks, and I have 10 bucks in fake money, and it sucks. I'm, I'm curious about something. Uh, what do you think will happen when we get off of this, this bullshit paper fiat currency that we're all wasting our time with, and we all go full cryptocurrency? Well, then what, will, what will gift exchanges be like with that? I mean, will it still be like, a, here, to have this 0.001 Bitcoin? Do you think we're ever going to be all cryptocurrencies? I Eventually, so. yeah. Like like in Cowboy Bebop, for example, everyone uses, like, you know. Is that you know, a cryptocurrency one. in that? I think well, it's, it's just, just like digital a digital currency. But it's like it's very similar. I mean, you know, we're we're already on digital currency for the most part. Paper currency mm-hmm. is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty bold. But like once, like as it, long it, as I mean, we, I, this, as this I just brings want us Bebop to, to mind. I want us to name uh-huh. our global currency currency double dollars, like in Trigun. Like in Trigun. And I don't yeah. know why they were called that, but it's double oh, dollars. I, I, I think I know why. It's because, inflation uh, got so bad. It was yeah. just like, <laughs> this actually, we this just actually interested me. Up. I, I remember, I think what the idea behind that was like, uh, so like the people on Trigun crashed on this planet and like rebuilt yeah. civilization and some things they just fucked up and like they read like, in, like they were just people who were like, had no idea what was going on. So they like read a lot of literature and there was like a typo somewhere of like, instead uh-huh. of a dollar sign, there were like two dollar signs and they're like, okay, I guess like Where our, did you our hear kind of currency. This? I've never heard this lore before. I, I, you know, I'm reaching back like more than 10 years to yeah. like where fanfiction. I heard that, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's coming from my head. I remember reading that somewhere and really being certain of that, but uh, yeah. it's, it'd be a cool thing. If it was I, I will say about gift cards that like mm-hmm. there is an interesting like manipulation element in that you can like force people to spend money on things you think they need. For instance, yeah. recently, uh, recently, um, and I don't think this was the intentions of this gift, but uh, mm-hmm. but um, May's mom gave her a a give a fifty dollar gift card to the grocery store, and mm. I thought that was really interesting. Like as an idea, like if you had, let's say that you have a kid who is bad with money. This is not the case mm-hmm. with May. I don't know why her mom got her that gift oh, card, but it made me think about this: that if you had a kid who is bad with money, and you gave them like like a some like a gift card for a place that you know they need groceries and like you don't want them to spend it on like heroin let's say right like right. you that's that would be a reason not to give that somebody sense, cash you know? like hey i'm yeah. not going to give you money you can spend on just whatever you want you have Whoa. to spend this on groceries holy you know? shit the odds of me giving to a homeless person just went into like from a zero to the single digits yeah um if you give them a gift card you mean yeah yeah <laughs> Passed out gift cards to homeless people. Well, I mean, it's something, I suppose. Uh, hey, I, I, I've got a I'll question give a here. World of Warcraft subscription. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've, I've got a funny question here from the uh, uh, from our, our pity question section at, uh, on the <laughs> the, the Twitter uh, at uh, using hashtag AskPCP uh, at Senjo42 asks, could you self administer a needle? Which is uh, interesting to me. No, not. I could Wait, not. Could, a- no. could anyone do it? Could Absolutely any of us not. Do it? I can't even have I've... somebody else administer me a needle. No, I, I, freak I, out. I have like a f- straight up panic attack from that yeah, shit. Same. I just yeah. Uh, it's not even the it's not it. even the pain. It's just the concept. It's just utterly disgusting to me. I, I think with like a uh, you know a good old sit down of training, I, I probably I, could do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, I I I would hug a hedgehog that was disguised a needle that was, was Ooh, disguised yeah. as a hedgehog. <laughs> I would do that, and they would be accidental. I'd be like, oh wait, damn it! Now I'm cured of AIDS. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> put, put, I don't think that's how aside. that works, dude. It took so well, much maybe. work to get those AIDS. <laughs> Putting aside the whole, uh, uh, like, it, whether I could, like, find a vein or, like, you know, the the, the smarts oh, of it. Uh, like, oh, I think the question's really about, about the, like, yeah, the, it's really about, like, the pain aspect here. Um, oh, the needles I, don't hurt at all. Like, there's, they're just it, But terrifying. it's the anticipation, right? It's, yeah. the, it's the fear. I it's mean, not, I, I don't know, they do kind of hurt. I find it uh, so utterly mm-hmm. disgusting. Yeah. Just the fact that they're, like, these, like... No. Vessels yeah. pumping goo through you. No. Disgusting. <laughs> no. Utterly All right. disgusting. All right. Let's, get off, let's get off the needles topic. No, I, I was going to say, I uh... like this. And also, I want to tell an embarrassing story about Ben, where we both got our blood drawn <laughs> at one time. And, like, I was sitting, we were both doing it. I got it, you know, they injected me or something. And I was like, okay, that, that sucks, but not that bad. Uh, but Ben, 
like when they came to the needle with him, I like you guys could probably relate to this, but he was like flinching in like the biggest, most yep. like caricature movements, like yeah. just being absolutely ridiculous. Like they wouldn't even bring the needle oh, that no. close. Flinching just is just the beginning out. for me. It just yeah. goes oh, downhill yeah. from there. I usually oh. like. If, I usually if, the, cry the closer and scream you get, the more the more my mm -hmm. hands turn into fists, and oh, the, yeah. and the, and the, and the, the stronger I, I become. I, think it's, <laughs> yeah. I find the, the 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 act of needle so disgusting. I would rather they just took a knife, cut me open, and bled me out. Like really, well, I don't know. That okay. I would be much more comfortable with just like hacking like a big gash in my arm. Jesus is it is Christ. it like the aesthetic oh. of the needle you find like disgusting? No, of, like, I just. I just the right, fact I'm, that it's I'm, like going I'm, into I'm, a vein I'm, and stuff. All right, enough, disgusting. enough needle talk. Let's get I like this, one last okay. question before we're done. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, from Gray Nine, what do you mm -hmm. want for Christmas? Oh, I want a uh, Switch. No. I want a Nintendo Switch. I want to play Splatoon yeah. 2, and and I, I got to play Bayonetta and Metroid Prime mm. 4, and mm -hmm. that's what I want. What happened? Patreon.com slash give me a switch. Oh, uh, uh, G Gib, Gib left because uh, he didn't want to hear gross talk, but that's I, over. We're, uh, we're, not, we're talking about what we want okay, for good. Christmas. What do you want for yeah. Christmas, Gib? Uh, a needle. <laughs> oh, no. Um, no. <laughs> I want. What do I want? Uh, something. Oh, I I I asked for mm. a little Meta Knight plushie because I have a little Kirby plushie Ooh, and I want a little Meta Knight plushie because Meta Knight's a fucking cutest little guy <laughs> and I just want him. I like I like I like plush things. I like him because so he's so tough good. and he's like, I'm a grumpy yeah, he's, Kirby. he's so fucking stern. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Uh, I asked Santa Claus for Xenoblade Chronicles Two for the Switch, uh, because I have I have very little experience. Well, I watched a friend play most of it. I don't know. Like, it looks like a big meme game, but it's like the first like big RPG for the Switch. And I love my Switch more than anything. And I just want another game, so I'm gonna play that shit. Uh, I, I saw a bunch of like anime, like soup, the most anime cutscene I've ever seen in a video game uh, from that. So I'm really excited to see just how deep the rabbit hole goes in terms of it just literally being an anime. Oh, shut that, that's what I'm fuck. Mm -hmm. Davu, what do you want for Christmas? I want a stopwatch. Oh, that's you can because, use your phone for that. Your phone yeah, well, here's the you thing, just go to right? Google. Here, 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 I'm going <laughs> to explain, right? So I use stopwatches to keep track of how long things take. That way I can figure out what things I'm wasting my time on, you know? Mm -hmm. So stopwatches are vital to time efficiency. The problem is pulling out your phone is yeah. ant antithetical to time efficiency. Oh, I see. You see mm -hmm. the issue there? Mm -hmm. A stopwatch oh, yeah. doesn't have any fucking apps on it. Stopwatch doesn't have Twitter on it. So there you go. That's why I want, I want multiple stopwatches. You could theoretically stopwatches. put your phone in airplane I, mode, but in any yeah. case, no, whatever works no, best. No, 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 no. The, 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 the holding like like uh, like PE class, like you, you, got, the, you got the stopwatch, mm -hmm. you go click, yeah. and it's like you hold it, and, and I want, that's I cool. want multiple stopwatches. I want like a stopwatch for like last time since eaten, one stopwatch for like last time since bathed, stopwatch for like how long I've been in this conversation to know when I need to wrap it up. Not this podcast, but like You've conversation like with my dad. You know, like mm -hmm. like you have to be you have to be on the lookout when you're in a conversation with someone who you agree with politics on, because then oh. it just becomes just like self affirmation mm -hmm. the game it's for true. five hours. Eventually mm -hmm. the yeah, amount of time it'll take you to manage all these stopwatches will be as bad as Don't the worry, I well, have a fucking I, alarm I just... clock for that. Oh my I God. just imagined, like, 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 Davu's having a like a kind of annoying conversation with his dad, Think. and he brings out the because the stopwatch is a universal thing. He knows what that is. If you bring out your phone, it's like, oh, he's just looking on his phone. But if you bring out the stopwatch, it's like, oh, he's timing you. Yeah. <laughs> he's timing. Davu is timing you this shit, mm -hmm. that would be great. and you click it Better right in fucking it, right in his fucking face. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I've actually you wasted I've actually clock, seventeen seconds of my life. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, what well. I want for Christmas is world peace. And um, okay. I want it by way of legal weed everywhere. Yep. There you go. Did you know, guys, know have... that Digibro smokes the weed? What the fuck? So Holy shit. I, I don't even <laughs> care if that becomes the meme because I literally smoke every fucking day now. So, like, yeah, yeah. it is yeah. actually true. Like, you can meme it all you want. I'm just going to embrace it as oh, an identity at this point. Yeah, it was really interesting. Like, Digi, when you mentioned, like, halfway through this podcast, you're like, yeah, I went out on the back port patio and started smoking. And I was like, wait, wait. Cigarettes. He Cigarettes. Oh, yeah, because I was like, he's smoking yeah. weed? I'm uh, having a problem with this. How dare you mention you, oh, actually smoking a cigarette, something that's yeah. actually a lot worse for your health. Oh, well, I guess I'm actually okay with that one. No, I smoke weed indoors. It's not, it's not, it's decriminalized here, but you know, mm -hmm. still never, keep it never hurts. Down it's still, um, still federally I think, not I think, good, so yeah. I think, um, 
I think uh, smoking weed, mm-hmm. like like world peace, won't come from just having legal no, weed. We I, need it to be free. I just free we need free. Weed. Weed. I just yeah, was going to help. originally say weed, the the weed thing, and then I thought world peace would be funnier. But then I just decided to say both. Anyway, that's it for this episode of the Procrastinators Podcast, right? Hey, hey, everybody? that's correct. And everybody, don't forget, uh, get your questions answered most likely, or more likely, if you head over to our Patreon and pledge as little as $1, patreon.com slash theprocrastinators. You pledge $5, you get access to all our bonus episodes. The new one will be out, like, tomorrow, I think, after this comes out. So if you sign up now, that thing's coming out tomorrow. So get ready for that. It'll come out on the Patreon feed. You'll see it there. And uh, uh, Send us questions on the Twitter, hashtag AskPCP, for the handful that we answer there. And uh, right, don't to, uh, forget about com or something, slash yeah. people, slash the procrastinators. We got a bunch of merch. It's still, there's still time to buy things for Christmas next year, if you act now. <laughs> right. And don't uh, forget, fucking guys, t- don't ever you dare forget about sneak a zucchini under your neighbor's front porch day. <laughs> I'll see you day. there. I'll, I'll t- I need Tom's uh, Tom's plug as well. Mm-hmm. iTunes and what else? Where are Google we? Google Play. Google, Google Play. Play. iTunes and Google Play. Mm. For the two guys that listen on there, but hey, God bless them. Hey, you, you, give me, you guys give me twenty dollars a month, so keep listening. Do, are there only, do we, we have, have a way to money? track the numbers on those? Uh, Google Play's numbers are pathetically bad. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. I but iTunes does not keep track of numbers, so I have to go into Bluehost and figure out how to track numbers that way. So yeah, we still need to figure it out, but we yeah. will. Anyway, I'm, I'm lazy. All right, well, it's too much backroom shit. Everybody, goodbye. At- goodbye. Bye. Bye. I'm done. Sleigh bells roasting on an open fire. Snowballs flying through the air. Yes. I'm recording. That's the end. Beep. Yeah. 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 Uh. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be.